Oh, more reinforcements? Yeah, every, I, I think it's reinforcements oh, every turn. Yeah, every, I, I think it's reinforcements what the? every turn. What the? Every turn. Yeah, every, I think it's reinforced. What the? Did the stream go down? Why did my preview randomly restart? Are we good? They brought friends. The shadows fail us. Back now. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now looks like it restarted. Fantastic. I wonder why it restarted. Oh, we got two wounds. I don't remember getting two wounds. We got wounded. It was the overwatch that we had to run. Oh yeah, and there was the sentry shooting through the solid wall. Okay. So we got a 12 day wound for Sally Shaw, who turns out to be our shinobi. Very unfortunate. Aim is okay. Mobility is great. Health is very... Oh wait, health is probably higher. Because I would have had the healthy one run the overwatch. Shut up, Central. Something of a miracle worker. Getting the Avengers' power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave dedication. To get the ship running. Dedication on a Shinobi is definitely not bad. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. We can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no oh my God! Stop talking. Thank you. There we go. Uh, 10 aim and 1 pierce against unflankable. It's very good for how cheap it is. Uh, locked on isn't going to do anything unless we go with hit and run. Which might be a good idea. Maybe. I don't think we're going to use a run and run, uh, run and gun. Close encounters would be nice, but it's way too expensive. Um, some of this stuff, with with the old Long War 2, you would pay, like, basically you'd pay in training time in the AWC. Or was it the... Yeah, some kind of training center, training school. Um, but here you have to pay in skill points, and some of the abilities aren't quite worth... Uh, so we're definitely taking total combat, mostly for the mobility. The five aim is definitely very hard to turn down as well. Uh, unless you're going all in on knives. What exactly is Long War of the Chosen? Uh, it is the Long War, like, total overhaul, but for the most recent XCOM game. Uh, so basically... The campaign is much longer, it feels more like a guerrilla war, it's considerably more difficult. Uh, you have a lot more variance in your soldiers because they have some some random spread of stats. Uh, you've got all these... I, I can't even remember if the base game does it, but you've got like extra abilities that your individual soldiers may get to make them more unique. Um... You've got a lot more decision-making between missions. Uh, in the vanilla game, there's no infiltration time. You just gear up the instant that you're going to a mission. Uh, yeah, that's the basic idea. Yatu Watu, 69 aim, 14 mobility. Slugshot might not be the worst idea with this aim. Especially with the low mobility. I don't normally go for Slugshot, but... No range penalties, pierces two armor. Two-turn cooldown. 69 aim on Lance Corporal. I think I might do that. 
Very good at murdering drones with that. Character name is on cooldown? Wait, what? Wait, did you pick one already? Let me have a look. Uh, the... Channel points. Quests queue. Uh, name a character. We've got Larius, and that's it. Um, I, I think I'll just remove the cooldown if it's playing up. But I'm not going to give people multiple characters. Uh, let's see. Cooldowns and limits. Get out of here. Uh, and we've got Larius. Okay, so who are we going to give Larius? Uh, the Reaper, if you like. And one for Bean as well. Larius, if you don't want the Reaper, speak up. Should we make it the nickname or just, uh... First name Larius. Last name nothing. And you can have a nickname. If you like. Jakku Beck as well, alright. Uh, Sigma Bean, first choice would be be a sharpshooter? Wait, no, that's Stardust. Uh, what do we got? The hacker? Svetlana? Is this okay? And what, Bean for the nickname? Jakku Beck? Ranger. Good morning, Morpheus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I've been meaning to pay attention to this. It looks like average combat intelligence means six soldier AP per level up. We can get a common pool of points we can spend on them as well. Uh, but yeah, six is not a whole lot. Six times seven, forty-two. We could get just one of these. Uh, max cost perks on a soldier with average combat intelligence if they reach max level and we don't give them any other points. Okay, let me just check the rewards queue, make sure I got everyone. Uh, Larius, Sigma Bean, Jack Buzz. Fantastic. Alright, who does the Reaper... Larius want to bond with. Yatu Watu? That could be okay. And Yatu Watu is... has a lot of options, actually. Sheep say meh. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. And for all seven of those months. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. Uh, we've got a promotion for the Rookie, another Ranger with average aim, decent health, bad dodge, uh, decent movement, I can live with that. Soldier abilities, low profile, deep cover, deep cover's very, very good for an ever-vigilant, um, always going on Overwatch, you get the Hunker as well. Flashbanger and Rapid Deployment. That's 30 points for a free flashbang that doesn't cost an action. Um, but yeah, I think we'll go the standard Reaction Fire with Low Profile as a high priority for this one. Oh, Deep Cover and then Low Profile. Uh, and then for Alice Knight. All of our Shinobis are injured. 
Ah, uh, that hurts. I'm really glad I bought that shinobi. Combat intelligence high. Center mass. Fortify. Hmm. Center mass just barely makes me want to potentially... Oh, the aim is really bad. Never mind. Yeah, there's nothing specific. I'll probably just do a standard, like, Blade Shinobi for this one. Then again, Preservation. Plus 15 defense for two turns after breaking concealment. Usually a, a Sword Shinobi breaks concealment half or most of the way through a fight to cut things up. And then is a, a bit exposed. That could actually be quite good. Um, alright, who are we bonding? Uh, the Ranger with the Assault seems pretty good to me. The Reaper is only interested in the Assault. The Sharpshooter... I think we looked at this already. Sharpshooter and Assault is not going to happen. Uh, yeah. Let's bond you... It, both of the Rangers want to bond with uh, Yatuwatu. Do, any, do either of them have any perks or anything that would change the decision at all? Uh, we've got the deep cover. I don't blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye. Shut up, Central. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. And we've got eventually a really good rapid reaction person. Aim wise. Um, I think we'll go with the tanky. The tanky ranger who's going to automatically have deep cover and also low profile, really hard to kill, is going to bond with the assault who is going to want to get in people's faces a lot of the time. Beautiful. Alright, and that's all of our bond options gone. Six days until we've dug this out. Oh, we've got the supplies now. No, we don't. To make the resistance ring. I just need 18. Maybe I could sell something. Especially after that last uh, mission. Nope, not really. I could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's system. Okay. Uh, this thing's almost done cooking. We're only going to get to, like, I think it was 69% infiltration. Uh, if we do get that far and we're still at advent strength 1, we can boost it and run liberation 1. Tigan, you scared me. Alright, that's resistance comms. Let's do biotech. Notify you as soon as the reporting I can now contact Commander. other regions. Now to establish contact with local resistance groups Let's start with Canada. East Once Asia. Collected sufficient intel to make contact. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. And this should hit now maximum now. Local regional contact. Um, I just want to double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to double check. Can I see the advent strength from here? I can. It's still one. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to boost this. And we're going down to extremely light. We got Rorosaur, Lazik, who's tired. He's probably going to come back with PTSD. Uh, Sigma Bean, the specialist. Stardust, the sharpshooter. And a couple of green rookies. With grenades. Good luck on Liberation 1. O seven 7 indeed. Not snip, uh, not slipnip. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Operation Potent Calm. 
I think this was the one with the big city, no? Uh, with a big map. A little bit of feedback, I followed you because you have to have a chill voice that is excellent to fall asleep to. Stay as you are. Thank you. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Alright, this is one of those missions with a fairly obnoxious and arbitrary time limit. We've got eight turns to hack this thing, even though the enemy doesn't know we're here. Um, otherwise it'll just self-destruct and we fail the mission. And we're not going to see a liberation mission reappear for a while, I think, if that happens. Number one, number one bedtime story on Twitch? Thank you. Oh, that's what I didn't want to see. Frickin' drones. We do have a hacker, but they're not going to have... Well, they do have line of sight, but it's only 74% plus or minus to shut it down. And then even if we do shut it down, it's only shut down for like one turn. It's barely anything. It's not even long enough to run past it, basically. Uh, if we get discovered before we even get halfway to the objective, this is going to be a lot harder. But at the same time, with this time limit, we really do have to rush. I want to go over here, but I'm scared we're going to run into a civilian or just into enemy line of sight. The sharpshooter's going to want to be kind of at the back regardless. The drones are perfectly willing to casually fly through and smash windows as they look for you before they even know anything's happening as well. So that it could come straight through the house. Uh, let's head over here with Stardust. And I think this is actually a really good spot for the moment. We see nothing. Let's get our technical. There could be something over here. It's not likely. And the odds of a drone spotting us here but not here are really very low. So I think we'll make ourselves slightly further away from this drone. I forgot how slow the start of a C block is. Very slow. Very slow indeed. It's quite like the, uh, what was it called? Sky block in Minecraft, right? Already there. And Sigma Bean. Uh, I don't want to go that far out of the way. I'm going to take a little tiny risk and head up this way. Because we really can't dilly-dally on this mission. Where, where can we climb up? It's only over this side. I think we have to go here. There's really no other choice. Now we can't see the drone, which is a bit scary. I wanted to take a break from SE, so I started a new C block, and oh man, the start. Indeed. Uh, if I go here, the drone could have gone this way. It could spot us. So we need to get a wider angle. We need to do improper stealthing in the middle of the street. It's a little sketchy going over here, but we've got the... Oh, I saw something. Oh, that's bad. This might end up being kind of tough. I can't quite get our sharpshooter on this roof. We're literally like one tile off of getting that elevation. Uh, I might be able to get our sharpshooter up here. If we move Sigma Beam first, um, we should be able to get away with this now. Yep, the drone went 
over that way. Actually, it didn't move at all. Interesting. We don't have anywhere to move up this way. The drone can move... 10 tiles if it goes in a cardinal direction. I don't think it could quite spot us here. And I think it's the, exactly the kind of risk we do have to take because the time limit is so crazy. Um, speaking of risks like that, Sigma Bean, get over here. Can we get our Sharpie up top? We actually can. Just not without the benefit of that little bit of cover. Uh, I'm less concerned about Stardust getting flanked. I don't think that's possible right here. Uh, and more, more that if Stardust was on this tile, it would actually be line of sight from three different spots because of the cover system. Uh, but regardless, I think... Getting up on this roof is probably a good idea. Lazic, head for the big rock. And rookie. Uh, if I put Kadija, Mazibuko. If I put Kadija here, the drone could go this way and flank him, and good we're morning. all busted. Good morning, Midden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, fingers crossed. That drone on the right doesn't go this way. Fantastic. We've got a whopping six turns to hack that container. We can't get line of sight on it next turn, even if we go out in the middle of the street. Probably mostly because of that car. But I think, like, over here, we would be able to hack it remotely. So this is actually looking pretty good. Um, we know there's a drone here, a drone here somewhere. That leaves potentially seven enemies other than drones that we have to fight. I think we just move toward it and take cover from whatever enemies might be here and risk the drones walking into us because we don't have time to do things however we like move into position i could put you inside this uh bus a better line of sight. Oh, this is a Rorosaur. This is the technical. It's not a rookie. In that case, I definitely want to position Rorosaur where he might get a good rocket or even flame next turn if we're very lucky. Still haven't seen any of the actual troopers. I do want some overwatch shots. And I can grant a bonus move to either Sigma Bean or Lazic with teamwork at some point. I wish I had a stock. We can end the turn for the sniper early to make his aim next turn much, much better. But we don't have the equipment for that. I, I saw there's something over there. Unsurprisingly, there are in fact enemies on top of the objective. Uh, and I don't really want to increase the risk of detection with this rookie. So we'll just dash up. It's still... Either way, it's going to be atrocious odds of hacking at this stage. 
so we're not going to do that. That's an officer, and a drone on top of the objective, and an engineer, I think. They're probably a squad. And we're spotted. Good start. Very good start. One more shot. Nope. Oh, the drone's right next to our gunner, so we might get an extra action. Alright. Lazik, if you please. Knife the drone. Fantastic. Five damage on a drone? Through the armor? You absolute beast. Uh, and then who's going to take the next shot? Oh, S Stardust doesn't even have angle from here. Okay. I have to get him all the way onto the front of the house. I mean, that would be to shoot this drone specifically. He should be able to reach stuff up here. I don't want to spend an action for Rorosaur because uh, if we spend one action before using the rocket launcher, it becomes incredibly inaccurate. What I'd like to have happen is... The officer spots us, runs to the car for cover, and then we blow up the car. Would not be the worst use of the rocket. Uh, we've only got SMGs... Okay, other than this gunner. I think I'd like to use one grenade. Hmm. I was going to say one grenade and hopefully one cannon shot from Lazik to kill the drone. Oh, we do have... No, we don't. Sigma Bean is still a squatty. We don't even have a combat protocol. Which would one-shot the drone. I could go for the long shot and try controlling it. And then we'd have a tanky scout to throw at the enemy. Uh, if we fail the hack, it's going to gain aim and defense, I think it is. Or maybe movement as well. It's going to be a little harder to kill. But we've got like one, two grenades and a cannon. And I guess this shot as well. To finish it off. I could move Stardust forward and use Hollow Target to increase everyone's aim against it as well. I'm pretty sure it has no effect on hacking. So yeah, let's go for the low... Low risk, high re high ish reward hack. Thirty seven percent control enemy. Sigma bean, a go. And he actually pulls it off. Do we get line of sight on the enemy now? We've got access. I don't think we do. Okay. So, what we're going to do is turtle up here for the moment, and next turn, I should be able to put someone behind that uh, very bad cover right there, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Regardless, we're going to open with a rocket. Like, next turn we're going to move the drone forward, hopefully the enemy runs in behind a car for cover. Uh, and then we're going to greet them cordially with Rorosaur. We've got two rookies with not much to do right now. Probably just move back here, Overwatch. Rorosaur, Overwatch. Lazik, Overwatch. And reload Overwatch. And I think there should be basically no risk no reward either. I don't know, line of sight from these roofs can be kind of funny. I might just move Stardust Here up a little bit. In cover. Looks like we've been spotted already. 
Orso with the long shot with the SMG, unsurprisingly missing. Enemy still up. And the officer is exactly where we want him. This lot might be a bit more of a problem. Nice shot with the with the cannon Lazic. Alright. What's the most we can can accomplish with a rocket launcher? We can obliterate well, if I go that far, never believe the plus the plus or minus 1.92 tiles on this. You should double it. Uh if I if I shot the rocket directly at the rock officer, I would actually be afraid it would destroy the objective. Also, I probably should have done this already, but let's get an evac. Four turns until we can get out of here. Let's check how many shots our sniper has. 77% chance to execute the drone. All of your other shots are garbage. Uh, you don't have death from above yet on Stardust, so that's going to be his entire turn. We can't hollow target something after that. But everyone else is going to have kind of dodgy shots at the drone because of height disadvantage. Uh, what do we get from hacking this? It's usually terrible. Reinforcements if we fail. Integrated comms, I think, just gives people squad sight. Hypnography reduces enemy will, which is usually just crap. I think we're probably better off with our rocket hitting these three. Potentially blowing up this vehicle. Uh, which may even kill the drone as well. The only problem with that plan is the officer will still be uncontrolled. Uh, we could potentially... Can, can Rorosaur see the officer? Yeah, he definitely can. Well, actually, no. Not with a regular shot. I was thinking... There's nowhere we even want to move up to that the officer has line of sight on right now, probably. I was thinking of using uh, Lazic to suppress the officer to get rid of the Overwatch, give him an aim penalty for next turn. I could give him a movement, an extra movement point with Sigma. So anywhere in this yellow range we could move him to uh, and still shoot or something. I think we should open with the rocket and see what our options look like after that. Okay, Aurorasaur, if you please, destroy everything. I'm not angry, just disappointed. Plus or minus one tile, by the way. Uh, the drone is at least dead, and we've reduced heavy cover and terrible line of sight to light cover for the engineer. Stardust has a 57%. That is not very good. I think if I take the 57, I would rather take the 56 on the trooper. Then again, everyone's bunched up, so... Lots of people would get uh, hit by a flashbang. And we don't really want to move right now. Partly because of the overwatch back here, but partly because we don't want to wake up anything else this turn. Surprisingly enough, I could move a rookie up to this heavy cover behind the uh, tire. Because the officer is peeking out from this side, which is actually just really poor positioning <laughs> even yeah we can we can pretty much go where we want the officer does have a grenade i think 
so we want to be aware of that. Don't bunch up in front of him. But I think what I'll do with, not Sigma, with a rookie. Who's our tankier rookie? They're the same. Sergio Ruiz. Please move up here. And Grenade... I can't hit two of them? Uh, okay. Well, I don't think this shopping cart is gonna survive even a rookie grenade. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's worth a try. Fire in the hole. Destroy the cover and or just outright kill this trooper. There we go. So our Sharpie has 86% to execute Trooper, 64% from this uh, Rookie. Should be a bit higher from Lazig, but it's still going to be better for the Sharpshooter. I think this is our best chance of not wasting the turn for Stardust. Fantastic. How many is that now? And then one more grenade over here, I think. I probably want to save a grenade for the uh, officer, actually. I kind of wish I'd brought it... Oh yeah, I forgot about our hack. Oh! Okay, that's... Those are some extra options. Let's flank both of these enemies, and they'll want to move next turn. And he missed his overwatch. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's why the officer's positioning was so weird. They'll more than likely waste two actions. Well, the officer could one-shot this, maybe. But there's a good chance they'll waste two actions on the drone. Right before we lose control of it as well. Uh, Lazic, how about you finish off the drone? 68%. Fantastic. And... I could send someone up to... well, no, that's a lie. We're not able to flank the Engineer, but even if we could, it would be very risky. Uh, we can get an angle to hack behind this car. We can almost get an angle to hack behind this cover right here for the main objective. If I do move Sigma over here, the Engineer's going to want to run because he's flanked. We might wake up something over this way, but it doesn't look too likely. Actually, considering I moved the drone all the way up here, I think it's very unlikely because this is the edge of the map. Uh, let me just make sure the chat is caught up. There we go. Um, let's see. We've got two rookies. No, we've got just one rookie and Sigma Bean. I think with the rookie, we just... How many things have we killed? Two drones, three drones, one trooper. I don't particularly want to use a grenade. Yeah, but Good to go. on the other hand, I don't want the engineer flashbanging everyone. Loot destroyed. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, Sigma. I'd like to move you up where you could hack next turn. Or if not hack, then like explode the officer. We've got seven hit points. I think heavy cover over here would be okay. But yeah, the officer will almost definitely attack the drone. Because it's out in the open. And he did one-shot it, but he left himself in an absolutely atrocious position. Engineer gonna engineer, so Sigma's not gonna have a grenade or hack next turn, I don't think. 
Sigma Bean can only do basic stuff and has no movement and no aim. 52% to hit the flanked officer from where he is. So Sigma's basically out until next turn. Uh, that's really unfortunate positioning. Our sniper just barely doesn't have a straight shot, and believe it or not, this counts as heavy cover. Negative 45% to hit the officer. Uh, but we could definitely get a flank with a Lazic. And I think we'll use hollow targeting from Stardust. Let's do this. And wait for the 600 year long animation. Fantastic. All right, Lazic, if you please, 88% officer in the face. Beautiful. That just leaves an engineer and like three or four enemies somewhere else. Um, I couldn't quite move up and flame the engineer, not that I'd want to with no cover. I could move Rorosaur up here behind the car, so that he could do it next turn, potentially. Don't really have a whole lot of options right here. And all of the options that I do have risk activating the last pod. But we've got lots of actions still. Uh, I, I think I'll just play it relatively safe. Let's put Rorosaur here. Should be able to burn the engineer next turn. And... How far can he move? I don't think engineers tend to go for the flank shots if they're, like, suicidal. He'll probably run away. If there's another pod nearby, he'll probably run back and try to wake it up. All the more reason not to put this rookie up here where he'll get spotted and then we won't have everyone else able to make useful actions. So let's just go over here. And this guy, Overwatch. And Sigma Bean, 0%. Uh, I could just move you up here so you can hack next turn. There's a really small chance something's up here. I seriously doubt it because we had the drone up there before. Oh, and three damage from across the map with an SMG. Oh, very nice. Aurorasaur, if you please. Burn an eight. Beautiful. Alright, let's hacky hack. Which will probably wake up the last pod if they're not already. With only two turns left. Uh, we can pretty much assume we're not going to get either of these, but I'll, I'll go for the larger chance. A very nice Sigma Bean. Hasn't failed a single hack this campaign, despite low odds both times. Let's move back towards where the evac is coming. Where did our evac go? Our evac was timed to the... Our evac was on the same timer as the the objective, and now it's it's gone. Get me out of here! I guess we need to survive four more turns. What's the worst that could happen? And 
Stardust has a straight sprint to the evac, so this is probably fine. It's hard to tell... Sniper line of sight sometimes, but this should be okay. Ready to engage. Roger, holding. All right, let's just keep hiding and overwatching. Scanning. Scanning. Whatever you say. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Is it clear? Oh, and what are you hacking? Uh, sometimes there's rewards here that. A permanent like campaign strategic uh, bonuses but this stuff only affects the, the existing missions so I'm not too worried about that all right two more turns of this and we leave safely and they're gonna get reinforcements to drop on our heads With any luck, they'll drop somewhere where everyone gets a good shot. They are right where the flaming car is. That should be okay. They're not going to get uh, an action. I think we have uh, evac now, right? Oh, Rorosaur. One-shotting the trooper with an SMG. And everyone else missing? Not quite. That'll do. Let's get out of here. Without a misclick caused by the camera jolting around. And don't forget Stardust. Will do. All right, we out. Getting out of here. Okay. This is Firebrand. Packages secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning. And that's to Liberation base. One out of the way. Lawless. Standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. So far, apart from a lot of slow troopers and no shinobis and then wounded shinobis, it's all going very well. We got some promotions in order. Low intel, you don't say. What? Okay, that's... That's an auto-generated uh, photo and a half. Um, obviously, we'll be keeping that one. All right, rookie Kad Kadija Mazibuko, what do you got? It's beautiful, indeed. We got a grenadier with 14 mobility and high aim again. Uh, that is suboptimal, to say the least. Because grenade, gr grenadiers have to carry lots of stuff to really be useful. Uh, Sergio Ruiz, another specialist with 42 hack. That seems bad. Rorosaur was 50 something as a squaddy. So I don't know if. Uh, if this is a really low roll, or if, um, or if Sigma's, no, Sigma's 46, I thought it was 50 something. Let's see. Uh, 42 and 46, not that different. It's probably about average. Rorosaur, time to get more accurate rockets. And how many points have you got? Eight already. 
Wait, so average is 6 and very high is 8? Soldier AP per level up. That's not that big of a difference. I mean, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 for a max level. Unless there's some RNG every time he levels up. I don't think so. Uh, Sigma Bean, we're definitely... Yeah, we're definitely going the hacker route for you, I think. Haven't failed a hack yet, so why don't we go for Trojan? We'll go for Failsafe. Full Override. And I haven't decided about the end one. Maybe the EMP thing. Alright, Stardust Nebula. 73 aim on a Lance Corporal Sniper is not great, but again, cool under pressure is very much a great. So you're going to be a long reaction sniper. Uh, let's see. Lazic has six will and didn't come back with uh, PTSD, so that's good. You've got excellent aim, so I don't particularly... Like, usually I like to go grazing attacks, but uh, combatives is really, really good as well. 10 dodge, and more importantly, counter-attack melee attacks. So I can... You're also quite tanky, so I can put you in the path of melee enemies. And they'll, like, 99% fail to attack you, and you'll counter-hit them. And I believe that's it for the promotions. So we got a tired Lazic and a couple of wounded Shinobis. Everyone else is ready to go. We don't have any missions right now. Uh, five days until we can build the resistance ring. We need to scan here for four days to get the, the area revealed. I think we'll go all in on intel over here. And keep the Avenger scanning uh, to make contact. Nothing? Okay. Sorry, I forgot about the volume disparity there. And we're going to want everyone on intel here. Let's put the other grenadier in as a haven advisor for the moment. Advent strength is two in this region. Okay. Is there anything we might sell? We literally just need 18 supplies. New orders, commander? I already asked this though, didn't I? But I think we picked up more stuff since then. I wonder if this is what it... Let's go see. Avenger plotting new course. It'll cost a few hours, but it might be worth it. Market is open. Sectoid corpse. I don't. We've only got one. I really don't want to sell that. A regular auto loader. We'd need to sell both of them though. Perception, plus three aim. That is as weak as the perception buff could get. Sick of Antics, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We also have a couple of stocks now. Even the most basic stock gives us plus 15 aim and crit on the next turn. Uh, I definitely don't want to get rid of those. I want to have them... Or our snipers. I really could sell the plus three aim. It's so small. It's not even really... Like, it's going to be, what, plus five or six or something? When we eventually improve it? It's not really even worth the PCS slot. 
and the soldier. So we would need eight more. I could sell four alloys. Or the laser sight. Plus ten crit isn't bad. Plus five is like... You can't, can't really feel the difference, if that makes sense. I think we sell some alloys. Normally I wouldn't do this, but... To get the, uh... To get the resistance ring started that much sooner. In fact, stop clearing this debris with our one engineer. Build this faster. Uh, because once we get that, we can start getting a trickle of... All sorts of stuff, basically. It's basically side missions that we don't actually play out ourselves unless they get ambushed. All right, let's go look for look for a mission. Get some intel back. There's a mission. Sabotage transmitter. Find a lead. Find a lead, I think, means it has something to do with liberation. Or is it the intel package? Either way. Uh, six days, 12 hours to infiltrate. Extremely light. Big intel reward. Intel package. And we've got a million soldiers waiting for something to do. So that is absolutely something we'll take. Especially while we're still on minimum enemy strength. Uh, okay, so we get our shinobi. I think I'll take the reaper as well. Lazik is obviously going to sit this one out, otherwise it's definitely going to crack. Uh, we can put laser sight auto loaders and stocks on things. Uh, is our sniper still good to go? We've only got one, right? 39 out of 39 will. Fantastic. And it honestly looks really weird having uh, two Reaper heads, one of them on the Shinobi, so I'm going to change that. Uh, let's see, helmet slash hat. I don't know, this looks fine. Uh, what are we doing? Sabotage transmitter. I don't actually know what this... Uh... I think I vaguely remember what this mission looks like. Objective time of three turns, but there's a bunch of little things for you to kill along the way. Little machines that give you more time. So we're gonna want uh, people to have a few extra actions to put onto that. Definitely a ranger would be good, since you can take a shot without finishing your turn. Let's give you an auto loader. How about double ranger in that case? Uh, but now we're up to very light. I would have to boost it. So we could have one, two, three, four, five people without spending intel. I think that's probably the way to go. It's never going to be easier than right now to beat the enemy with just five basic troopers without special equipment. So we got a shinobi, a reaper, technical, a uh, ranger, and a sniper. I'm thinking the sniper's actually not going to be very good on this mission. We have to keep moving. So we'll save that for another mission. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six non-rookies. Seven, eight, if we count the grenadiers that we've got as haven advisors. So we can pick any one of these and still fill out a proper squad later. Let's take the assault, Yatuwatu. 
Uh, and you're definitely getting the advanced laser sight. I don't expect you to have to shoot more than four times. Let me just double check though. Uh, uses one ammo for slug shot. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the auto loader is best used uh, best used here. Maybe on the snipey snipe. There we go. And I could give him a stock as well, but I don't foresee where I would have the Reaper stop moving. So I think this is going to be our squad. No preference, slow down, okay. Uh, right after we send this squad out, we'll do the names. And away we go. Alright, let me have a look at the reward queue. We've got I Am The Sky and Sloda. No preference, no preference. Okay, so... Uh, who's the first? With the Sally Shaw? Shinobi? Good mobility, bad aim, good bad health probably, maybe. Uh, let's go with... I am... the sky. Fantastic. And Sloda. Uh, let's see, who is Sloda going to be? Probably not the Grenadier that I don't necessarily want to use very much. How about the Squatty Ranger? And Sheep Say Meh as well. Okay. Uh, Sloda. Sheep Say Meh. Uh, could be our other shinobi. Uh, whoops. There we go. And I think that's everyone. A Grenadier you're not going to use much just means the character has a higher chance of surviving until the end of the campaign. Uh, they're acting as Haven Advisor, so they're going to be... They're going to be equipped with, like, basic gear when there's a big attack that we have to respond to, and they'll be stuck in the middle as well. So they're not necessarily safe. Alright, let's keep looking for another mission since we've got a lot of soldiers waiting to get going. Three days, we're probably not doing this. Liberation, rescue, and affect a scientist, though. And it starts at extremely light. I'm going to have a look at what we can do if we boost it. Uh, so let's take basically the best team we can right now. Unfortunately, that doesn't include a shinobi because I am a stupid. Uh, because our one undamaged shin uh, shinobi is also with the Reaper infiltrating that other mission. City center, rescue VIP, concealed start. Okay, so it's not the type where we have to run away through the city. That definitely makes it less bad. Uh, this is one where we're going to bring a sniper, I think. Uh, we can't really bring Lazik. We were lucky Lazik didn't get some kind of condition last time. 
Uh, specialist. And, oh, we could go double specialist. Well, this is a squatty, so that's not really any good. Um, I think we'll take one of the grenades away from Sigma so we can move properly. There's a... You, you really don't want to fall below 14 mobility. It gets bad after that. Uh, let's see, three people, we can still do extremely light. Let's just toss a couple of rookies in and see what it looks like. Very light. Uh, let's see. Three days, 19 hours. 18 hours. 18 hours. I was just going to toss the rookies in to see what it would look like if we brought our grenadiers. But it looks like we have to do this with four people if we're going to do it. That's kind of sketchy, but a scientist is kind of a big deal right now. Ooh, I really don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, that's a ranger. I was going to say someone's... Well... We could take the SMG on everyone. What if we don't take our Sharpie? Specialist SMG. Rookie. Everyone's so slow. Remen's got terrible aim. I just hope Remen doesn't get promoted to sharpshooter. But what do we have here? 98%. Uh, if no one takes grenades, it still says 98%. 99%? If we had a... Uh, if we had a suppressor or two, that would drop the... Oh? Wait, what? Why does it show the soldier bonds thing if they're not... Never mind. If we had like one or two suppressors, we could get it down to extremely light with five people. I could try stealthing it. There's really no point in sending Sigma for that sort of mission. Okay. So this is a low chance of success. Uh, if it doesn't look good, we're just going to leave, assuming we can. And we're just going to try and sneak up with one person and hacky hack the door, get the uh, get the scientist out, sprint to the evac. I very much doubt it's going to be possible, but this is going to be kind of low risk, high reward. Show me what you got, sneaky, squatty specialist. And we already have a rendezvous. We literally just got this region, and someone is a spy. Uh, so we have five, uh, what are they called? Five resistance personnel here. We can't get the, uh, uh, we can't get the advisor out. They have to participate in this mission. But, yeah. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia.
depending on how many people are missing when the mission starts, we know how many uh, shapeshifters we're up against. If it's more than one, we're in trouble, and probably the best we can hope for is to reveal them and get out. It'll say mission failed, but it's a fine. Looks like just one. Squad concealment active. Okay. So these missions, for once, you're able to move quite a lot at the start without worrying about bumping into something. Out. So we're just going to spread out and look for the enemy. Copy We've that. also got unlimited time. I'm all over it. Uh, let's Good go over go. here. And over here. Affirmative. Rolling out. They're probably not up this way. That is quite the terrain, though. Don't really see a good spot for you, Ying Zhao. Here we go. Not that we're likely to see the enemy yet. Oh, here we go. They are in that general direction. I heard a sectoid. That's probably in the squad that is patrolling around. There's two groups of enemy we need to kill. One patrolling around and one that includes the shapeshifter. It's just going to be standing around. Getting it done. On it. Move, move, move. And there they are. One sectoid. It looked like maybe a trooper and a sentinel. The sentinel, if that is what it was, has longer vision, I think. So we want to be a little bit careful here. Let's get ourselves some... Who's back here? Our Grenadier. Copy that. Get some height advantage. Not that you're going to be shooting with your gun. We don't even have any perks on her. Now, Grenado, uh, Grenadier is just a squaddy. Let's have a peek. We do indeed have Sectoid, Trooper, and Sentry. Uh, the Trooper and Sentry are just as easy to kill as each other. Don't have an angle from over here. Let's hang back for the moment and see where they are going to okay. patrol. I'm all over it. Probably back and forth up this way, generally. Oh? Coming a bit closer? We need to get these two... Definitely not around that way. Not that I expected that to work. I'm all over it. Roger that. And this is a mission where we can get corpses. So I don't necessarily want to immediately kill them with a grenade. Okay. There now. There's a perk, uh, needle grenades, that means it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Ideally, I'd like to make all three of them walk into us at point-blank range on Overwatch. Heading to that location. 
We also want to be a little bit far away from the shapeshifter, which is probably going to be here somewhere. A few tiles behind this, uh, this side of the street. It'd be better if we could know where they are first. How far can they move in one turn? Not that far. Got it. So we're not going to need overwatch shots this turn. Roger that. That's the hope anyway. Fantastic. Alright. I want to scout up this way and Roger hopefully that. see... Yes. Got some over here. Oh. That complicates things a bit. Officer and drone attached to the faceless. If I could open up with a grenade on them... Uh, if I could blow up the car, potentially insta-kill the officer, then we wouldn't get an officer corpse, but I don't love the idea of having to face the officer without the ambush, either. I can't go this far up and ambush on these guys without waking up these guys right away. I don't know how far they'll patrol over this way. We could move everyone over there and hope to start something. But I th think the way to go here is just going to be... Got it. Hope that we can start an ambush in this general vicinity with uh, Overwatch fire. Moving on target location. Understood. Moving out. Definitely don't want to get stuck Just being able to see these guys and unable to move away from these guys. So let's bring you... about this far Moving back. Alright, everyone else overwatch. I don't love having everyone in the same spot. When we pop the overwatch. They have moved all the way back there though. So we could probably... Good to go. Have at least one person over this way, preferably two. Ideally, if we have everyone around in a bit of an arc around the ambush point, where these guys run, they're gonna be getting themselves flanked wherever they go. Unfortunately, well, I could go here, they might be able to see. Moving on target location. That's actually pretty good. If I get the chance, I'll swap these two, because this guy has more health. I'm on it. And I know this is too close. No, it's this is too close, isn't it? Roger that. Nope, that's actually too close. Okay. Uh, in that case, get back here. And Position over here. Scanning. I'm on it. 
And now we wait. And On my way. we wait once more. I don't have an opportunity to swap these guys. I don't know if they're going to come close enough to trigger an overwatch ambush this way. I think they might. I think next turn Sectoid's going to keep going this way. And it's on. Hello. Sectoid is down. Looks... I can't tell what's happening. It seems like everyone else missed. Everyone else missed. Okay. The animation is confused. Uh, that's a bit awkward. I think we can move someone up there to execute... But it is terrifyingly close. And if I'm wrong, this group over here is going to gain a whole lot of tempo. Alright, first of all, let's figure out how we're going to kill this one. Actually, if we go up here, we're going to probably going to activate as well, right? This is actually kind of dicey. If I do move someone up to kill this guy, we absolutely have to not pull these guys. Pretty sure... Yeah, he has spotted them, didn't it? Even though I can't really see... There we go. If I point it over here, I can see that... They can almost definitely see that far. I'm thinking we just grenade the, uh... The sentry. On the move. It's gonna alert the other group. They might come in and get some free shots. But we might be able to break this rock. Get if we're lucky. Which means we can get a flank from down here. Or he could just die. That works too. Didn't break the rock though. Alright. Six health person is going to be who we're going to risk this way. And we're good. Assuming that you don't mineral. You don't mineral. Fantastic. Alright. They're going to be coming in hot next turn. And they might get a free shot on our flanked tanky tank over here. Or not. Do I dare take the loot? I'm 99% sure it's going to activate them. If I'm going to do this, I should put someone... 7 health, you say? 7 health and 15 dodge, you say? Okay, I think I'll put him in the cover right here to get the loot. And then probably toss a flashbang... at... the faceless. Gonna be able to move up here to probably toss a flashbang at the officer and or over this way. I think this could work. Question is do I want to put anyone on Overwatch? Overwatch doesn't matter against the faceless, really. Uh, it's just gonna. It's just going to be out in the open anyway. 
and I don't think we can kill the officer this turn. Uh, and I don't think we're likely to hit a reaction shot on it. So I don't think we're going to use any overwatch shots this turn. And that definitely woke them up. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. What a lovely chap he looks like. Oh, they don't get to run at us? Interesting. Faceless doesn't, that is. So, uh, if we're about this close to it, it would be able to swipe at us. But if it has to double move, we're fine. We're not going to bother shooting it this turn because it's got regeneration. Uh, three health at the start of its turn. Overwatch can be good for getting around that. Um, but yeah, we don't want to bother to shoot it now and then have it regenerate on us as it gets closer. Let's get our Grenadier to move over here. Moving to position. And... We couldn't kill the officer this way, but we could not hurt the officer and shred the armor. Hmm. I could flashbang them both, and then the officer won't be anywhere near as dangerous for one turn. Uh, and the faceless isn't going to be able to run very far. If we head up here, actually over here we'll be able to grenade. Can we grenade with this guy? Yeah, let's grenade the the drone for starters. And it's one shot, nice. Very good indeed. Uh, let's bring our other tank up here. Possibly close enough for the officer to grenade, but I could be wrong about that. But we're going to flashbang him anyway. And we didn't miss the 83. Fantastic. Alright. Flashbang? Fantastic. And I think... Well, if there was anywhere with cover, I would definitely have someone dash up to flank the officer so that he wants to move. But uh, I don't think that's going to cut it this time. Regardless, I think we should get people on both sides of him. Someone could die this turn, but it's not likely. Oof, owie. At least he went after the person with the ablative armor. We might want to run away next turn. Oh, we don't actually have angle through the car, even though it's low cover. Uh, that kind of sucks. And we can't exactly flank the officer on this side either. Not unless we want to die. This is actually looking kind of bad. I can't... Oh, I can damage them both with a grenade. Alright. If I use the heavy cover, they'll be in range of the swipe. Which is actually much more terrifying than even the officer. I don't love leaving you in low cover though. Uh, we can do a lot of damage to... We might even kill... I 
I don't think flashbanging does anything this turn. He's still going to lose disorientation next turn. So... I think we should probably try to kill the Faceless this turn. We've got a bunch of 70-something shots. Okay, I'll go. 71... 95. Well, I definitely want to kill something this turn. Let's see how much damage this does. Two and two. Literally minimum. Now odds of killing the officer without grenade spamming him are quite low though. With the heavy cover. I think we have to just go for the random shots, unfortunately. That's miss number one. That's a uh, mineral. I'm gonna wait and see how the other shots go before... It, there's only one left. Depending on how this shot goes, I might Roll the dice with the other guy. Okay, that's good, even though it's a min roll. 95% chance, more like 90% chance to kill this thing. Don't die. The officer might flank him though. He's still going for the grenadier. And that's a swing and a miss. Fantastic. That was a little stressful. Okay. Uh, but we've got at least two flank shots on the officer now. And it's a done. Dismissed. Fantastic. We did get a wound on the only soldier where a wound matters, but that's okay. Alright, so Grenadier gets wounded for 12 days and gets a promotion. We get Sectoid Corpse, Trooper Corpse, Officer Corpse, Faceless Corpse, and Drone Wreck. That's actually huge. Uh, advanced Expanded Magazine, Scope and Stock is also very good. And we have... Uh, I think we'll go for Needle Grenades. Plus one damage to unarmored enemies, and more importantly, uh, it doesn't destroy loot. We can just use this without worrying. The Reapers have no interest in leading the world into a new age. Not under my watch, anyway. The okay. aliens took everything from humanity, and we... Someone's gonna have to be the... What people choose to do with their lives... Uh, Haven Advisor now. Is, up to them. is it okay if I put Lazic in there? I'm actually curious. I I'm pretty sure he won't stay tired if we leave him there. Let's give it a try. And we scan. And we skip cutscene. AP rounds, nice. Trooper Autopsy can give us a uh, better ablative armor, but I think we need the, what is it called, Proving Grounds before we can research that. Let's get hybrid materials done. Oh, and we have... Uh, I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Another scientist to pick up. Eight days, 17 hours, extremely light. Fantastic. 
Even if we just have to throw rookies at it, we should be able to throw way more than enough people uh, to make it good. We've got one, two, three, four, five if we count the Haven Advisors. Actually, no, Lazic is not good to go. He's got low will right now. So four people other than rookies. Uh, it's not like we're about to launch one of our other missions. Nope. Even with boost. Uh, where, where did it go? So I think we'll get the other grenadier out of the haven. And queue this up. Let's go Sharpie, Specialist, Grenadier, Arranger, and we can actually take like a lot of rookies as well, I think. Like three, probably. Ramon Rodriguez, 57 aim. Doesn't mean you have trouble tossing grenades. And everyone else is super slow. Let's take... Well, that is really slow. I was going to say, let's take the super slow person with high health. There is one who isn't all the way down to 13 movement. 59 aim, 14 mobility. That is atrocious. Okay. But... We can take six people and get extremely light with this. We could take seven people and get extremely light with this if we want to wait another day. But that's assuming that Advent Strength doesn't bump up a little bit while we're infiltrating, which could well happen. Okay. I think... I think this is our team. Let's give the expanded magazine and the scope to the right. Wait, we have a scope. Never mind. Uh, let's give the scope to the sniper. And. Oh, that's an SMG. Let's give an assault rifle, advanced expanded magazine, and five crit, why not, to our ranger. Alright, and away we go. definitely can't gear up another mission at this point. So let's grab some supplies. And I don't think we have literally anyone. Because you can't put rookies in as Haven advisors, so I'll just leave that blank for the moment. Another mission we're definitely not doing. Uh, recover item, find a lead, extremely light, 8 days, 12 hours. Hmm. Do we throw every single rookie at it? And just not worry about trying to get the slow, high aim ones to be sharpshooters? I think this is the absolute last opportunity we're going to have like this. Just massive infiltration time, seven to nine enemies, uh, advent strength super low. Let's do it. Every single rookie 
almost all of them are going to take SMGs and grenades. And the ones with really good aim are going to take assault rifles. Or if there's any with... I was going to say, if we did have any with lots of mobility, we could give them a shotgun. Get right in people's faces. Uh, 70 aim is not so high that I want to give you an assault rifle. Then again... Uh, let's make it three assault rifles. And everyone else on SMGs with grenades. It's probably way more flashbangs than we need. One, two, three, four grenades, four flashbangs. Oh, that's actually over. So we could take one less rookie if we don't boost it. Six rookies? It's probably okay. I mean, it's either that or they're going to sit in the Avenger all campaign long. Okay. And now we... Wait. Actually, let's do the gain intel thing. And another mission that we're, we're actually not going to do this time. Two resistance personnel and one rookie. That wouldn't necessarily be worth doing regardless. Advent strength is still one and two. So far. Extremely like sabotage transmitter, find a lead, let's -a go. During a recent scouting operation, our friends in the Resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter Advent just deployed in this area. As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This mission's pretty important, Advent but we've very much brought the A-team for this one. Into their primary network. Let's not get complacent, though. Destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. All right. Uh, I've got two people using SMGs. I'll take Rorosaur because the last thing we want is to lose stealth on our Shinobi. Let's start with this. Oh, those are not enemies. Those are the little easy-to-destroy thingamajigs that give us more time. Uh, I could move Rorosaur up here, but there's a chance... There's not quite a chance that the drone smashes through the window next turn. But we could be stuck. Oh. Got some hostiles group over here. Well, that's not great. So now this drone could go this way and reveal our shinobi on turn two. Uh, that's cool. Let's get our sniper rifle up the stairs. And just in case, our ranger with Ever Vigilant up here. Yatu Watu. Uh, could you please get in position to murderize either drone with Slugshot? One, two, three enemies is one third of the possible. Okay, it's happening. 
No. One tile. We are one tile off losing our shinobi stealth on the second turn. A uh, hundred percent to hit sectoid, zero percent almost to kill sectoid. We'd have to max roll crit. I'd like to get closer before... Oh, we lost sight of the drone. Now I don't know how far I can move. Hmm. I don't think we could see it if we go to these windows because the train station is in the way. I just want to see the odds of hitting the drone. 64%? Wait, what? Weapon range minus 16%. Special shot. No range penalties. Uses zero ammo? What? I'm thinking this is a little bit bugged and we actually can't really use slug shot from stealth or something. I hope. Uh, it's possible I picked up a literally broken, useless perk for Yatuwatu. We can retrain him, but it takes time. Okay, uh, first things first. Let's get our... Well, I was gonna say... Yeah, let's get our shinobi over here. Roger that. Where he's got cover in both directions and can get through the window without revealing himself. We still don't... Oh, we do see the drone, so we know where we can go. Let's bring Rorosaur a little bit closer. And we still see nothing. The drone will almost definitely keep going this way, at least for one turn. That said, it's still pretty sketchy to move up here. But we're going to have to reveal ourselves fairly soon anyway, because... Unless we start breaking these things, we've only got three turns to finish the entire mission. So I'm thinking maybe That's like here. Hostiles making the rounds. Uh, I think that was Sectoid Trooper. Okay. Let's bring Yatuwatu up. Uh, this way. Location confirmed. Now, Jakku Beck. Over. Maybe up here. There could be enemies up this way. It's possible. How about. Over here? And I can't actually use Shadow until we've lost Concealment. So unfortunately I can't exploit that for the movement buff. So I think for now we'll just put Larius down here. Oh, that could be bad. That could be very bad. Nope. I think it was really close again. We're actually not far at all from the objective, but... I don't think we're going to get a good ambush. Guaranteed to remain in shadow, but I'm guessing... Yeah, it would reveal us. We're not actually in shadow, and it doesn't maintain... Uh... What is it called? Concealment. I think we have to pop this turn, and we'll start using our shinobi for scouting. It's really not a good ambush, but we are looking at a third of the map, and we've seen that one, one of the enemy pods over here is only two. Uh, I think it was Sectoid Trooper. So this shouldn't be that 
difficult. Question is, how should I start? Slicey dicey? Except no, we don't want to lose our stealth. Uh, rifle, really low chance of an instant kill. It's not like I can flame it or anything. I want two shots with the ranger. The, the drone will come closer, we'll have better, better odds with the ranger shot. So yeah, weirdly enough, I think we just... Rifle straight in the sectoid's face. Please max roll. Not even close. It must have been one of you. It what? <laughs> it must have been one of you. Toxic. Uh, okay, the one person I don't want to use this turn is the Shinobi, if possible. I could rocket the, uh, the drone and two of these things. It'd be such a waste of a rocket, though. I'm pretty sure the flames deal no damage to either of these things. We got a 73 on the drone, twice. I could walk up to the drone and use uh, point blank, 4 to 8 damage, or even both barrels, that would feel like a bit of a waste. But it, it might have better odds than 3 to 5 damage, 73% twice, against 2 armor, 4 health. Uh, slug shot... does appear... Wait, where's the other drone? I can't actually tell if Slugshot doesn't have a range penalty, because we're in... We're not far enough away for a range penalty here. Uh, I think we'll go kill the Sectoid with the shotgun. Hopefully nothing over here sees us. 89% versus... 89%. Okay. I could pop run and gun. That would actually be a guaranteed kill. I think it's worth it. I really don't want to mess around here. We also get cover in this direction. And we min rolled. Probably just as well we guaranteed it. Uh, that drone is making me uncomfortable. I think our sniper is going to get stunned. I'm going. Let's try the single barrel. Four to eight damage. Fantastic. Well, how about that? Oh, you're kidding. He got spotted at that angle when standing here was safe. Okay, I think I'm going to flame... It's only a trooper. But even so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I could move up here for heavy cover, but we might activate even more stuff. Oh, I just realized... I can't get the shinobi out. Like, I have one action to try to kill this drone, other than using the shinobi. Uh, and it's not going to be enough with the SMG. So... It's going to be a little risky, but I think I think we pop the stealth. I'm Otherwise, it's just going to be sitting there. 
Alright, and don't wake up anyone else. Fantastic. Okay. I could rocket the sectoid. But it's just going to do something kind of useless next turn anyway. Sure thing. We could always rocket it after that. That's not likely to help, but maybe the drone misses next turn. It's going to stun the ranger. That's actually great for us compared to the alternative. Two turns though. And Sectoid raises a zombie. That's actually the dumbest thing it could have done. Menace one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Okay, we absolutely have to kill some of these things this turn, and I think I'll use the ranger to do that because we can do it twice. Seventy. Oh, that's the zombie. I was gonna say seventy-one percent on that sectoid would have been. Very surprising. Okay, let's start with this one back here, since we're not coming back this way. Well done. That only cool. gives us the one turn. Has been and this one. Now then. I could actually slash both of these. And there's a good chance to one-shot the sectoid. How many things have we killed? Uh, one, two, three... Wait. We killed drone, sectoid, trooper... And we've got... Five enemies we've spotted. There could be up to four more. But leaving the sectoid up could be bad as well. I don't like this either way. Fifty-five percent to shoot sectoid from here. I think it's next level up. Uh, Larius gets a skill that gives him ridiculously good aim against things that are in cover. Alright, Slugshot should at least work with the Armor Pierce. Fantastic. Target eliminated. The only question is, do we slice? I could move up here with Shadow to try and find out if that's a terrible idea. So, Slicey, we can go to this tile at the diagonal. Unfortunately, I can't put Shadow Man here to have a peek. But here should work most of the time. Larius sees a Nathi. When in doubt, make Advent Shish Kebab, indeed. Um, because it's effectively a free action here, I am going to slash the zombie. Just in case... That was terrible. Just in case we fail to kill the sectoid, it'll have a bit of red fog, it'll have a movement penalty. Not that I think the movement penalty is going to help here. Okay, we're good. And it looks like we don't find any more enemies. That turn pretty much couldn't have gone better. Okay. Um, I think it takes an action to trigger this thing. We can't get in there. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, pro tip, you can move all kinds of crazy directions as long as you stay and end inside the blue move uh, it'll still count as one action but that's a little cheaty sometimes let's just move up here Oak says I am to obey the invaders 
Send a patrol. And we find them. Fantastic. So it looks like we can get away with this. I'm hoping it's a free action. It looks like it is a free action, but I've been fooled before. I think the, uh, what is it called? The Skirmisher has this, like, lightning whip or something. Uh, that's especially strong against robotic enemies. And it looks like it's a free action, but then it ends your turn. But I think that's probably because the, uh, Long War devs nerfed it. So this should be a free action? It's all green. You know what, I'm just going to save it, and if the UI lied, we'll go back. We're good. Also, I definitely should have tossed my flares sooner. Four turns. Okay. Uh, we could kill this stuff, but there's no real reason. We're gonna lose shadow after this turn. It's after they move, though. And everyone else is way back here. So I think we will... Can I not get on that roof? I could if I had more movement. Uh, how many have we killed? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. That could be the whole map. So if I hide over here, it might be a little bit safer. I'm on it. Or we could wake up a drone over this way. Looks like we're fine. Okay. And there's nowhere for our... Well... I was going to say there's nowhere for our Reaper to hide, but that's not quite true. It's not a very good hiding spot. I go where I am needed. Hello? Name mod icons? Name mod icons. Uh... Oh, as in which mod... Gives us the different colors. Uh, I'd have to double check. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll just finish this mission and then I'll let you know. Let's move our assault up here just in case. Gets the opportunity to do something. Throw in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it looks like, because we've got x-ray vision with Larius, we can tell there doesn't seem to be a way out. And thank you for the follow. Uh, there might not be a way out without revealing ourselves. It looks like we found it, though. Let's move our shinobi back first. Already there. And this one behind heavy cover. Let's move back our ranger Team as well. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, I definitely want Rorosaur to have angle on them with a rocket if they come up here. That looks like it's okay. I think I'll keep Rorosaur there. And... On the off chance we do decide to I'm fight on. them, I want Yatuwatu in range. 
Okay. Two more turns till we can leave. And they are just about close enough to see us. I could probably... Theoretically, I could rocket them, but it would probably miss. Then again, they're all bunched up like that. Uh, when are we going to get another opportunity like this? I'm pretty sure I saw them right there with the see-through stuff. I think it's worth a try. Rora saw a blind rocket. Kill all three of them in one shot. Two of them dead? Yeah? And they still... They don't get a turn... They don't get to do anything right now because they don't see us yet. Uh, That's cool. Do we have line of sight? I think not. Let's get our shinobi close enough to dash up to them if they come. If the last one comes closer. And our reaper might not be able to go that way. This should be fine. Ranger on Overwatch, Yatuwatu stay there. And we see nothing. I know there was at least one more. One more turn until we leave. And uh, that's it. On the move. Heading out. It's not too far. Packing it in. I can handle that. Solid copy. Okay. I'm gone. A flawless a victory. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Beautiful. So far, so very good. Officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember. Nothing moves morale like a few dead aliens. <laughs> we got more than our share today. We're getting thin on manpower tonight. All right. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Uh, James Washington, promotion. We've got 70 aim, that's pretty good for a Lance Corporal. Uh, I think he's gonna be a Sword Shinobi. Officers might be more resourceful than your Little low on health and mobility, but I think it'll be fine. Ooh, combat fitness. There's not a whole lot that surprises me these days, but... I'm definitely curious to see if the chip we pulled from the commander Shut really up central. To the ones Advent's been using in their Shut up central. There we go. Uh 4 aim, 1 mobility, 2 hit points, 4 will and 4 dodge eventually. Combat intelligence very high. We can definitely afford that. Uh James Washington is going to be quite the sword shinobi eventually. Probably go reaper. Okay. Uh, as for that mod, let me double check real quick. Workshop. Subscribed items. Oh, there's so many. There's eight pages of subscribed. That doesn't include every mod. That, that, that's more than every mod that I've got. Um, War of the Chosen cost-based ability colors is what the mod is called. Cost-based ability co uh, colors. Okay. We got 21 hours until the resistance ring is ready to go. 
fantastic. Uh, we've got like two or three missions still being infiltrated. Three, actually. One of them is Rookie Spam. 88% on Operation Spider Blade. Liberation Rescue a Scientist. Very important. Zero hours until must launch. Uh, in other words, right now, we're definitely boosting that one. If I travel to pick up the beacon at all, it's going to say must launch. It also will cost us like two hours. And the advent strength could increase, so we got to go right now. Thank you, good luck, thank you. It's just one very important mission after another. Heavy resistance at the site, and the aliens have had extensive air support moving in that region that'll keep Firebrand grounded. Lock down the area. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, if I'd remembered, it was just if I'd checked or remembered, it was just one person. I probably would have just skipped this for now. Uh, so we're gonna attempt. Okay, all right, the evac is one to two turns away from the door we have to hack the positioning is kind of dicey but this could be possible uh so we attempt a very carefully improper stealthing in the middle of the street uh to get our one specialist in range Disguised signals. Bypassing security. If we'd lose stealth, we could get it back. Theoretically. A failed hack will result in all enemies gaining defense and mobility boost. I don't actually care about the defense part of that. But yeah, uh, we could actually theoretically gain concealment. Again. Pretty unlikely that well for one thing it's unlikely we get the hack but it's unlikely we'll be in the exact situation where we take that dice roll i don't feel good about either direction here i want to go up here but i'm i'm scared of a drone if i go over here we've got cover in two directions, and the one direction we're missing it from uh, is where we came from. Position. Hello? Got a squad here. Looks like they're going away, based on the sectoid leader. Nope. They're going inside. Thank goodness. Alright, that's one third of all possible enemies on the map. I heard a door. Can we f can we see where the door was opened? I don't think so, but I think it would be over here somewhere. Can we get up on this roof? I think I think they would see us when we go through here, but I don't know if they have enough uh, detection range to make that happen. I also absolutely need to get this uh, specialist near the evac, so that hopefully, worst case, we can get out of here. Got it. Let's go for the bi-directional cover over Enemy this way. Move. Another sectoid over here somewhere? Uh, lots of stuff to block bits of line of sight over here. I don't like it. I don't like any of these directions. If I had more mobility, I'd maybe go to get on the roof. Except I can't see if there's something here. 
Uh, there's no way up onto the roof over this side, it looks like. I think we Heading there now. do a small move over here. Got eyes on a hostile squad. All right, we know where that sectoid is and where they opened two of these doors, actually. I'd like to get over here to get up on the roof, but the other squad could come out. I think this is the safest move we could make. Move. Could be a drone, though. We got something over here. This gets us closer to the evac as well. That's very, very good. Okay. Which way is the least risky? I think, unless I waste a bit more time, actually, no matter how I go about it, if there's a drone here somewhere, we're just in big trouble. Uh, if I go up here, we don't have line of sight to these guys. So if we do get spotted, maybe we hack the drone and have a chance to run away. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Okay, we've seen two squads of three, and we've got uh, seven, eight over here. There's a good chance that that is everything on the map. On the way. Uh, at most, there's a drone somewhere. But if we're very lucky, there aren't any drones. And we have a good idea where all three squads are. We've actually got a really good chance. Time to motor. If these guys go this way, we probably just win. Oh, I don't have line of sight on them. Well, if we still can't see them, they almost definitely went the way we want. Yeah. I think we're good. I can't bust through the door without going up to it first. Without losing concealment. Um, There's actually a ladder right here as well. That's excellent. Okay. We're going to come over here. We're going to open the door. We're going to already have line of sight to hack the objective. And we're going to be able to get out in two actions. I just hope... Uh, this is going to reveal us, right? Infiltrating their system. Not that I can see. Um, I just hope I don't have to run up to the VIP to get them to leave. Which is very much possible. I wish I knew. That door is still closed. Uh... Okay, let's go to the ladder, and we're going to open it next turn. Actually, no, we're going to open it this turn, and we'll be able to run straight to the evac next turn. And hopefully we don't have to walk up and smack the VIP to get him to move. We do have to physically open this door. Wait, I still have stealth though. What? With the... Oh, okay. Alright, how much mobility do you have? Uh, not enough to get out. 
It's hard to see, but one, two, three, four, five tiles closer would do it. If I run him up here, I think he's probably going to get spotted. I'm pretty sure our hacker can get out. From here. What? Why is it saying it's going to make noise to go through the already open door? He just smacked it open, even though it was already open. Okay, we're going to hunker here and hopefully both can dash to the exit. I can hear them. Don't overwatch. Don't overwatch. Okay, are we good? It's kind of hard to see, but yes, I believe we are good. It's, it's so hard to tell. We did it. That is about as smooth as it gets. For a solo mission. And we got Liberation 1 done. Fantastic. Casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Uh, I need to see your stats, Ruiz, to make decisions on your upgrade path. Let's see. Poor aim, uh, like decent slash normal mobility. Good health. Decent hack, I guess. Did my best to get the new recruits ready for Probably the just a straight up hacker. The commander back is a bigger confidence boost than any speed. Oh, I should have looked at the extra skills though. Pretty much all shooter kind of skills. Which you're not gonna be a shooter. So I'm just probably not gonna worry about it. Or I could give him... How much mobility does he have? 15? So if he doesn't take grenades, I could give him a pistol, clutch shot, uh, lightning hands, red screen rounds. Might be good. Okay. What thing do we have to do immediately without hesitation next? Nothing. Fantastic. Let's go pick up this free power. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, 21 hours until resistance ring. Fantastic. Alright. Maybe we should give them a try. Uh, so that message that I just thoughtlessly skipped basically says, in Long War of the Chosen, uh, you can fail covert actions and they have a chance to be ambushed. It gets bigger and bigger each time until you do get ambushed. No preference for name and character pool? Okie dokie. We'll do that in just a moment. So we got supplies, rebels. Um, these are all rather lengthy. I guess because we don't have. I could put an engineer on this, but we've only got one engineer. And we need to be excavating. Uh, that would have made it a bit faster. We need a. Staff Sergeant or a Sergeant to find the other two factions. So we can't do that yet. Or I think we might have a Sergeant, but no. 
the highest rank I've got is Lance Corporal. We've actually... This is probably the thinnest I've spread the XP ever. And if I keep it up, I might regret it. Because we do need a few star soldiers. Um, but yeah, superior weapon upgrade. Probably not. It's a dice... Even if we win it, it's a dice roll on whether we get a really good one. Uh, gather supplies is probably the most important thing we could be doing right now. Alien loot is like stuff that we pick up from the ground. And the one time I did this, it was terrible. So I'm not going to be doing that unless I desperately want one that needs three soldiers because it's going to get ambushed. Let's go for the 46 supplies. And we want to pick uh, soldiers that can get out of a mission where they have to start on the other end of the map and run. So I'm tempted to use the Reaper, except so Larius, Central, Central Hush, Central Stop. We'll need to new stop. If we're going to keep this up. Okay. Uh, but I was going to say I want the Reaper for shooting things and stuff, but also his mobility is not that good. So let's maybe go for Jakubek with an SMG for max running speed. And if necessary, both barrels something in the face um, before we run away. And I think we only have the one technical. I'd like to send Rorosaur, except again, mobility is terrible. Um, Ruiz is the one that we just upgraded, right? We just promoted. Stardust Nebula, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could send a Shinobi. Oh, we've only got one available. Uh, I Am the Sky is back in seven hours, though. But yeah, combat protocol might not be the worst idea. Okay. Let's try Gather Supplies, Jakubek, and... Aru is. One percent to fail, eight percent to get ambushed. We'll get the job done. Good luck. That. And we need to have a look at our. Uh, it's just dope dog actually. Or a soldier. So we've got. Let's just go for the highest ranked one. That isn't taken yet. Our, our new specialist. Uh, customize. Oh. Oh, I'm good. Fantastic. Okay. Doing all right, thanks. How are you doing today? Uh, quite well, actually. I mean, physically I've been better, but the campaign is mostly going ridiculously well so far. We do have a lot of terribly slow soldiers, but the missions themselves have been going excellently. Uh, I should get another Haven Advisor in here. How about... Yatuatu? And... How many soldiers do we have spare? A few. I'm not overly concerned about finding a mission right this second. Also... It really does look like Lazik's uh, willpower is not coming back. 
while he's a Haven advisor. So let's swap him out. Get some rest. Uh, how about Rorosaur for the moment? Okay. Let's leave everyone on supply. And go gain some intel with the Reaper HQ. Until the next mission is fully infiltrated. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your How does the character pool reward work? Do I just redeem it and mention what you want? Yeah, sure. That's it. Uh whatever you ask for appearance wise, there will be an attempt, but there's only so much I can do with the the XCOM character stuff. None of this stuff matters because you can't actually use Resistance Orders in Long War of the Chosen. We only got 52 supplies from new that last few days or so that we had people picking up supplies because we weren't looking for a mission. Uh, and now we've finished excavating. Let's start on probably this one. Give us another 47 supplies as soon as possible. Oh, and can we build anything? I think not. We would need 50 for the Proving Ground, which we don't even have access to yet, actually. Uh, but yeah, the Training Center and Guerrilla Tactics School are our next priorities. Midden? Character? No preference? Okay. Uh, James Washington. You are our sword shinobi. You've done a hell of a job. Shut up, Central. Together, it's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought it was uh, Let me just make sure I check that off. Oh, we also got Stardust Nebula. I already put you in, actually. Uh I'll I'll just show you your character and tell me tell me what you think. When I had nothing to go by, I went by people's Discord avatars. So I made you Red. I can't actually click on... Oh, here we go. Okay, so you said... Asian male if possible. That is definitely possible. Uh... Character info? Where's the... I think it's under head. Yeah, here we go. Maybe the last one? Probably the face isn't helping. <laughs> Why are they all so big? Also the hair probably would change first, I guess. What kind of hair are we looking for? Something relatively neat. Bonk. What you have right now is awesome? Oh, never mind. Alright, let's bring it back. Uh, I don't suppose I can, like, just not save changes. Nope. Let's, uh, let's try and recreate what we just had then. Head. Hair was one of the top few. Long layers, hair color was like this, I think. Was this the same face? I think it might have been. Is this okay?
think so. Okay. And... Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything right now. We've got research, we've got engineers busy, we've got resistance, uh, COVID actions. Uh, we can't build anything. Haven advisors. We've got Haven advisors. Scotland forever. Ginger hair. Was that what we had before? I think this was what we had before. Or is... Oh, you mean like this? I mean, it's up to Stardust. It was blonde, yeah. Okay. Give us the supplies. We've still only got 97, which means we can't make anything. Uh, I guess I could have a peek at the black market, Avenger plotting new course. but I doubt we're going to sell anything. Maybe we'll buy a soldier or something. Market is open. Probably not. We've got enough. I, well, we don't have two gunners, but we've got 600 million lance corporals right now. Uh, also, we don't get to see what kind of stats or anything uh, this soldier has. So it, it really is... For classes that are dependent on stats, it really is a, a gamble. Um, sell? PCS Focus? No, we're going to give that to, to our gunner. Probably the first time I've ever bothered giving someone Focus. Yeah, we're not selling anything. Usually, uh, usually I end up with way too many Illyrium cores, but so far we've only found one. Alright, we scanny scan, we check the extremely light, rescue VIP from vehicle, it's, a, it's another scientist. With Stardust, Sigma Bean, Sloda, Freeman, and a couple of Mooks. Good luck. Hope I don't die, because if I die I won't be able to live anymore. <laughs> well, you are a sharpshooter, so... Not too likely to die. The transport vehicle and rescue the target. We'll have to take out any hostile forces protecting the package. Although against the the sniper chosen, you never know. We have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay, what do we got? Uh we've got ain't an evac Below and out of line of sight of the VIP van. Very, very close. And we've got height advantage over it. Assuming we can get there without getting spotted. This could be pretty good. Let's do some improper stealthing with our rookie. We see a nothing. Let's use other rookie in this general direction. Oh, we got roof sectoid. Very convenient indeed. Um, well, I don't want to try and get on this roof, but we do have a path straight up here to get on that roof. Although it might be a bit dicey trying to get up there without being spotted. This door is already open. 
Uh, let's get Sigma Bean. The furthest the Sectoid can go is, like, not too scary. I'm more concerned about a drone or something out here somewhere. There shouldn't ever be anything in here, probably. XCOM looks cool, like sci-fi fire emblem, indeed. Uh, Sloda. I don't want to be too greedy with your movement. Let's keep cover on the left side. Freeman. Uh, right about here. And Nebula. We're not trying to get you on the roof just yet. And you don't have a good weapon for concealment, so hug the wall as well. And I might just leave this rookie here so that we can maybe see which direction the sectoid is going. Oh! He's headed across the roof, and there's a drone over there. It's pretty far away still. So the sectoid is like here, I believe. You can actually find out sometimes. That's where they're standing. That tile that I can't move to. Uh, but we did, like, see them heading that way anyway. Preview line of sight with multiple levels is just not working as well as I remember it. I'm not sure why that is. Can't really tell where he would be able to see. Um, but I'm a little concerned if we try to get someone up here, he's going to wake up. Uh, I, I think this is okay. Can we get line of sight on him before we try it somehow? Probably not. I think he... Uh, I, I just don't know. It's not just line of sight, it's does his sight radius, like his detection radius against stealth go that far. Since I'm a sharpshooter, I can one-shot targets? Uh, sometimes, yes. Although not as often right now, since we're, we've only got the, the most basic weapons. Uh, if we... <laughs> If we don't risk it, we're trying to squeeze our way all the way around here, head up the street like this. I don't particularly like that. We're going to risk it. We, it's fine. I wouldn't have been able to tab otherwise. I want to get line of sight on the sectoid. Hopefully there's not a drone up here. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see what everyone's movement is like. Rookie at the back can't even get to the ladder yet, although there are people in the way. But he'd probably just be stuck, like, here, even if he could. Sloda. The sectoid can go two tiles closer, so it should be safe to do it this way. Try and keep an eye out and see if we spot anything else on the way. Uh... Stardust has uh, a pretty cozy spot up here. Uh oh. Got a group of hostiles over here. That's actually excellent. Uh, rookie number one here. Dashing. Dashing. Freeman. I think over here. Is this a trap? Yeah, probably. And just like I thought, the rookie can get one tile up this way. He does actually have um, cover in this direction, so he wouldn't get spotted, but he might get stuck. I don't think it's very likely, though. Getting it 
done. He might be even more likely to get stuck if I leave him back there. Late game sharpshooters are monsters? Yeah, definitely. Especially with the right uh, bonus skills. Ooh, the sectoid's going exactly where I was afraid of. I think our rookie may be stuck. Oh! Ooh. Enemy sighted. Uh, I think we might know where everything on the map is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quite likely. Uh, our rookie is probably stuck. Except, I don't know. I, I have a mod that's like... If... If we go here, we don't get detected because that would be ridiculous. Because how the hell would they see you sneaking in up there if they're unable to see this? Uh, but I don't know if it would mean a rookie could sneak away. And frankly, I'm not sure it would make sense. That he'd be able to. Uh, which leads me to wonder how well I could set up a reaction shot ambush. I could take the 92% with uh, Stardust. He's got a lot of health for a sharpshooter. The other two might not both even get a shot at him. They're going to waste a turn running around. If Stardust does kill him, which is quite, it is very likely, it's like 90, almost 90%, uh, he'll be able to use one free action uh, thanks to death from above. So he could kill this trooper, slink away. All of this is going to activate. And these guys can only see the rookie. So the way that they move in response to him might be really bad for them. They'll get clapped by troopers coming in this way, but now that I look at it, we really can't get that much in place. If he moves, he gets seen, and he stays, he'll be seen next turn. Uh, I think he gets seen if he moves. Definitely, with vanilla, he would definitely get seen. But... The sectoid is almost definitely going to keep going this direction as well. I think we set up some overwatch shots. Cross our fingers. And hope we either get some good shots or we don't pop this turn. Okay. I'm ready, sort of. And yep. We're busted. One hit, a two hit, a three hit, a four. I don't know if the fourth one hit, but we killed them both. That was pretty good. Not great to pop our ambush on two squishy humanoids like that, especially a trooper and a sectoid, but it couldn't have gone much better. And we have double loot on the one tile. Oh, they found us. That, that might actually be good. 
Oh, mind control? Hello? I, I think he got mind controlled. Yep. Okay, uh, all we have to do is pop the sectoid with a flashbang to cancel that. He's standing next to that door. I don't remember if the sentinel... The sentinel didn't get an overwatch, right? We also have to deal with the drone. I don't really want to waste a grenade on it. Especially when we've got double... Light him up from Sloder. Oh, we've also... No. Wait, how do you not have angle for combat protocol? Uh, I think we will use the combat protocol from Sigma Bean here. Also, let's just check what we can hack. Blitz or distraction. Distraction is actually huge, but 7% we're never doing that. Especially when the penalty is reinforcements. But yeah, you can actually spend all of your action points and then hack this and then get a whole other turn while the enemy just sits there. It's ridiculous. It's never going to happen, though. Alright. Let's pop the drone with combat protocol. Fantastic. We need line of sight on the sectoid with a flashbang. Yatu Watu. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I know there's also three enemies, including a gunner over here-ish. So I want to be a little bit careful about how I get line of sight on the sectoid. Let's bring our rookie over this way, and we're safe. Should be able to toss the flashbang right in its face. And rookie number two is no longer mind controlled. I'll probably use him to grab the loot, to be honest. Uh, Sloda has a flank with hide advantage on a trooper. I think we're going to take that even if, and I, I don't think there is a chance that he'll activate these guys, but even if they, even if he does, it's probably worth it. 90% Sloda, please destroy the sentry, actually. That's even better. Um, I don't actually have a way back up the ladder until I move the rookie for our grenadier. I can't go over here with the grenadier without waking these guys up because advent cities are just full of windows everywhere. And I don't believe that is an accident. Uh, it might be a little dicey, but I would like... Well, no, we don't have anyone with stealth anymore. So if I try to get a snipe shot with uh, Stardust, it's not really going to work. I think we'll grab the loot. I hope it's worth it. Get our Grenadier back upstairs. Uh, won't worry about trying to kill the sectoid this turn. Go, 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 go. And get our rookie up here. Is, clear? Is that everyone? It just leaves Stardust. I would love to move Stardust in such a way that he's not spotted yet, but he maybe gets a snipe next turn, but I don't think it's possible. This might get him revealed. I think it's safe. Oh, this is a huge mistake. This is a huge mistake. They don't have a gunner, though. Well, at least we know where they are. Take the heavy cover and maybe get a flank on someone who doesn't get out of the way. Sweet. 
swing and a miss from the I'm all right. trooper, I think it was. No, that's the sentry. That's good. Swing and a miss on the height advantage low cover. And one at Yatu. I mean, not Yatu. One at our sniper. Sectoid isn't even going to move. Interesting choice. Alright, so Stardust has a flank. 82 on Sectoid. Very unlikely to outright kill. But not too bad. Uh, I'm not a fan of the sentry having overwatch. It actually has low cover from there as well. I think this is a job for a grenade. This is exactly yeah, a job for a grenade. We've got to get rid of this trooper though, or at least damage or flashbang him. Let's damage both of them. Follow the happy ball. What can it be? Let's go take a look. Only one damage. Well, you know what? I didn't think that was even possible. Damage two to five. What the hell? Well, uh, at least we got the Overwatch down. Yeah, to what? Why do I keep calling Stardust Yatu? They're, they're both kind of colorful characters, are. Stardust, please snipe uh, Sectoid for six or more damage. Okay, that was a good try. Uh, is what I would say if I was lying. I could use point blank on the sentry through this diagonal here. Uh, it's got ridiculously good aim, but only at ridiculously close range. Sorry, boss. Um, that's a trooper. I'm not overly concerned about that. What kind of movement does he have, though? He couldn't even flank him if I do this. Uh, I need to know what other options I might be cutting myself off from before I do that, though. Both rookies in the same spot is not helping. Um, it really is a shame we got one damage on the sentry, because otherwise I would burn the second combat protocol to finish him off. Do I actually have... I could actually hack, hack the objective from here. 5 plus 2 health on Sigma. Put pressure on the trooper. I'm going. Didn't activate another drone or anything. Uh, sure. Sigma. 58% trooper. Why not? One damage. That's more than I expected. Good job. Let's bring Sloder down for the point a blank. Already. And it's actually still 100%. The only way we don't kill it with a... Uh, with a single point blank is if we graze. Fantastic. And we got a stock. We've actually got three stocks now, so I'm not really looking for more of those. Uh, I could have the rookie flashbang the trooper over there. This guy can't grenade because he grenaded last turn. Doesn't have any good shots or anything. Let's see what he can do if he goes upstairs. Uh, I'm going. Rodriguez. Well, you can at least take a shot at the trooper with height advantage and be in position to drop on the sectoid's head. Also, it's about time we tossed our... F oh. Right, this is a fixed evac. Don't have to worry about tossing flares. Alright, random 36% on trooper from across the map. 
We miss. Target still standing. You don't say. Uh, I think this is our last flashbang. So we're going to have to kill the sectoid outright if it does mind control or something. I could just grenade the trooper. Could I? Pixel hunt? What? It's so hard to see. Oh, I see. It was the old thing that I was able to grenade. All right. Flashbang. Pixel hunt. There we go. It was oddly difficult. Trooper is running off for a flank shot. Uh-oh. Only hit the ablative armor. Fantastic. And Sectoid is gonna raise a zombie. They always do that when it's too late to help. Okay, we're not gonna get a shot. Oh. No, that's on the zombie. Stardust. That's not so good. Assuming we can kill the sectoid, which I'd be shocked if we couldn't. Uh, in fact, we've got another point blank right here. Let's get Bean to probably right, execute go. Trooper. Fantastic. Good job, Here Sigma Bean. Uh, clap Sectoid with Point blank number two. Fantastic. Good job, Sloda. We got an Illyrian core. Zombie down. We don't have anyone who can get a good shot on the trooper. I could grenade him. I think what I'll do instead... Oh, I can't actually get line of sight that way. 52%. All things considered, 52% isn't that bad, relatively, right now. We got a 40, a 36, or a 40, or something. A 50. And we could just spam low percentage shots at him and use a grenade if it comes to that. It was either that or use Hollow Target, which won't make that much of a difference. Alright, Stardust. Redemption shot. Go. Execute Trooper with only 50% chance. A miss. Negative damage. Rookie spam. Oh, you've actually got a Rookie Grenade. Done. Which will almost definitely not kill him in one. It might destroy his cover. Maybe I should have done that first. Uh, I think I can hit him. Yep, there it is. Frag out. And he still has cover. 40% to kill without losing possible loot. And we got it. Okay, so I got it. Toss me some ammo. Nicely done. Uh, I won't rush in just yet. This way. Just in case there's one more. I think it's just a drone. Got me down to a T. <laughs> uh, Sigma Bean, please ouvre la porte. Is it clear? Passing in. And... Small intel cache. Fantastic. I think Sigma Bean is 3 for 3 now. On hacks. And let's get everyone moving. I believe there's nothing left on the map, but we want to be... Oh, oops, that's not actually cover on that side. We want to be a little bit careful, is what I wanted to say. Sloda is actually a squatty. Doesn't have uh, ever vigilant yet. No need to ask twice. Copy that. 
squatty of the year. And open. And VIP out. And everyone else out. Let's do this. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Copy Oops. That. Uh, I'm just going to extract the VIP. I don't think there's any chance of enemies, but could be wrong. All right, we're good. What's over there? They don't even have reinforcements yet. Here I come. Solid copy. And we're away. Lawless. Oh, we did kill nine, and I lost count. We must it didn't count the zombie, did it? The VA for Doctor cracks me up. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it's from Freeman's mind. Continually impressed, Commander. It is indeed another success beyond all expectations. We've had one mission where two people got wounded, and that's it so far. We go needle grenades, I think. I could go sapper. Um to just annihilate cover all the time. Shut up, Central. Uh, but I really like being able to just use grenades for ambushes. They are incredibly easy compared to other things to set up. So we got one one more damage on unarmed enemies, but more importantly, don't destroy loot. Plus one grenade from the grenade only slot for damaging stuff. Plus one damage. Uh, full damage for the whole area of effect. Grenades can crit. Grenades have a bigger area of effect. And then maybe... No, I probably always take full kit, to be honest. Plus one grenade for every one in a slot. Uh, utility slot. The other option at the end would be Combat Engineer, so that we can blow up cover much more reliably. Uh, bonus skills, we've got Lethal and Hunter's Instincts. We're never paying for that though, Combat Intelligence very low. Uh, in fact, we only get four skill points per level, it looks like. Uh, plus, you don't have the mobility to make flanky shots work. Uh, untouchable, though. Score one kill, and the next attack against him has to miss. Uh, even if even if it's AoE, I think. Yeah, it explicitly says that. Uh, so I think we'll we'll probably spend some points on that. All right, let's go with needle grenades, and then Sloder. Uh, despite 66 aim, has been doing very, very well. Uh, Sloder's going to have very good defenses, and that's not nothing. I think I will go combat fitness in the end. Uh, plus two health, plus one mobility, and plus, was it four aim? But that one mobility lets us give Sloda, like, shredder rounds or something. Uh, at effectively no cost to mobility. Okay. And then we've got a rookie. Esteban Alvarez. 
sharpshooter with 66 aim. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to have a hollow targeter. Love how my character is standing there all badass and all when he knows he didn't do anything. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, 66 aim on a sharpshooter, that might be the worst I've ever seen. He's also got bad mobility. Uh, but what we can do to somewhat salvage this is use hollow target. Uh, we'll use him as a haven advisor. Make all the, uh, resistance personnel able to hit their targets. If we train him as an officer and give him rapid, rapid targeting, he can actually, without any special equipment, boost aim of others by 15 for one turn. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is very sad. Ramon Rodriguez, good health, decent mobility, atrocious aim. What do you want to be? Gonna. Well, at least with a gunner, we can give him grazing attacks. Atrocious aim AoE. Well, we can give him a, like, big suppressive fire AoE and grazing attacks, so everything that misses gets 50% to at least do some damage. He's also got Blade Storm, so he can miss at free attacks against melee uh, against enemies in melee. This is pretty bad, to be honest. I don't see a whole lot. Hmm. I could literally use him as a tank. He's got six health. Give him combatives, plus 10 dodge, counterattack melee, formidable, plus 2 ablative armor, a lot less damage from explosions. And then what? Guaranteed hit with hail of bullets? Uh, demolition, destroy cover for other people to hit something? Danger zone, just suppress more enemies in one turn. All of this depends on aim. Every little bit of it. So that kind of sucks. Combat fitness would give him a little bit of aim, at least. I've never tried saturation fire. I very much doubt we'll get a soldier like this to Master Sergeant. But it's something to think about, I guess. Probably just shoot twice, rapid fire. I wish I could get combatives and grazing attacks. Uh, there is an option to allow you to pay ability points to have like two skills, uh, more than one skill for the one rank from these three, but like that feels a little bit cheaty to me. thing is, danger zone plus grazing attacks would give us a lot more hits. But combatives is kind of critical if he's going to be a tank. Well, we don't actually have to commit to anything right now. That's it for promotions. Uh, so we now have three scientists, I think. Two scientists other than Eigen. And we've only got one person wounded, uh, our other Grenadier for four days. Fantastic. So I Am the Sky is back in action. Uh, our Rookie Spam mission starts in at most 22 hours. Uh, we need a mission, so let's put everyone back on Intel.
much intel does it cost? Yes, Central, I know. I know we don't have enough intel, that's why I was checking to see what it costs. Uh, 80 intel to open up this area. We've got 58. Whoops. Oh no, that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I thought the Avenger was somewhere else. We got tracer rounds, hazmat suit, combat armor is ready to be researched. Fantastic. Advent trooper autopsy. No, I think we need the proving grounds to get the ablative armor out of the troopers. I was going to say maybe we could get armor for all of. Uh, a little bit. One more hit point of uh, ablative armor for all of our troopers sooner, but no. Combat armor it is. is an important task, Commander. Very important, not having our troops get one shot. And rookie spam mission is a go. Recover item from train. Six rookies. Two of them with good aim, the rest with... Uh, 69 isn't bad aim, actually. But we've got two with really good aim for rookies, and uh, four carrying grenades. There's something in the air. Combat rush whenever they crit works for advent as well. Scary. Uh, West Yanks, if I didn't say so earlier. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Operation Froststorm. What is this? Warcraft? Slums District Knife Point. I've been keeping mostly out of trouble. Nice, nice. They mostly keep out of trouble. Mostly. Oh good, this is one of those missions where we have to sprint at the objective. In order to... I mean, at least this one makes sense. It looks like the resistance fucked up this train. Uh, so it's not like they have absolutely no idea that we're here. Uh, I need someone with an SMG and high mobility. 12, 11, 12... 13, 13, 12, 12, 11. Oh, this is going to be bad. We've got eight turns to get this thing hacked. Uh, we're going to have to YOLO. To a large extent. Drone on the left end. I think it was an officer... An officer and maybe a sentry, if we're unlucky, in front of us. Rip most of these rookies? Yeah, this could be where our luck runs out a bit. Another drone? On the side that we didn't protect? Okay. Oh, he actually brought three shooters. That's probably for the best. Go, go, go. And this doesn't do any more harm in terms of possible detection. If that drone comes this way, this is going to get ugly. Oh, the officer moves away first. So... We'll at least have the chance to retreat, I think. Interesting. Okay. Should have a points reward to use whatever, whenever t hex swears. <laughs> Does it so sporadically it's jarring? That's, that's how you swear properly.
Um, this is... We don't have a, a specialist either, so we physically have to get right next to that thing in six more turns. This is bad. If I really sprint forward, not only is the officer gonna see us, but probably another squad as well. The way the drones are going, I should go around the side, but we definitely don't have time for that. Which way is that drone even going? I can't tell. Which, where was it before? I think it was like here, right? So that's just going to get worse for us. Well, let's bring everyone up to get... Okay. May as well get them all to have line of sight on the officer. To have a chance for reaction fire then. Your... Your movement is so bad. Oh, he's got grenades as well. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. With 67 aim, he's got an assault rifle and grenades. That's a not good. I don't have high hopes for a win here. Yeah, no. I think a win is going to be getting everyone back alive, to be honest. Although it is a bunch of rookies who are just going to be sitting in the Avenger doing nothing, if not something like this. The officer should move first, right? Moving to position. On Overwatch. Overwatching. On Overwatch. All right, we almost definitely get revealed this turn, chuck flares, unless we're very lucky without overwatch shots. Uh, we'll probably get ready to retreat. The officer is gone. And the drone is out of our way. This is almost creepy. I almost feel like we're getting pulled into a very clever trap. If I could get to that roof, that would be amazing. Um, how much longer is that drone going to like move two tiles at a time and in that direction? It's a trap? Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. I don't like how far back these guys are either. But we're going to have more stuff to hide behind. If we can get some people over here. Maybe I should have over-infiltrated so that we had a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A shorter evac time. This is so dicey. Heading out. Eyes on the prize. Good copy. Moving on target. And you can't even move. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Alright. So when we get discovered this turn, at least we probably kill the drones. We've been spotted. That took longer than expected. Swing and a miss, and a miss, 
And a hit, a good hit. Alright, one drone down. Thousands to go. Miss. And is that the end of our reaction shots? Salty or sweet popcorn? Uh, salty, probably. Oh, okay. We didn't wake up anything else. It's pretty much guaranteed to run in here next turn. There's a chance that the officer is standing right about there and creeping up one tile to try to not get seen by these guys is going to get us seen by the officer. And I'd rather not lose the tempo. Uh, what I'd like to do is get the drones murderized. Or the drone, I should say. This is for you. By the people with SMGs. That was unbelievably weak. Um, I could grenade it again. I really don't want to have to do that. 90% from this guy, but... I want him to be able to shoot stuff over here. When it comes in. I want these three to take shots like that. 89% 2 to 4, we'd have to max roll damage. I think we grenade one more time. Out. And that killed it in one. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, and do not forget the evac. Very important. About four turns. Do they get XP at all if we finish the, if we fail the mission? I wonder. If I spend one more turn here overwatching, our chances of uh, surprise winning this mission. Oh, it's actually over here, even. That's not... That's not the, uh, the objective right there. It's over here, in the train. So we'd have to, like... Dash our closest person twice. Right now. It's not happening. I just hope we'll get at least one promotion out of this. I'm really surprised they haven't found us. They might be sprinting around for a flank or something. That is not sprinting, but it is sort of flanking. Good hit with the SMG. Swing and a miss from everyone with an assault rifle, though. And now a gunner walks by. Evac in two turns. Looks like that group is alerted, but they don't see us. We're definitely gonna grenade the officer. Here I come. Take this. And once more with feeling. Oh, you don't have a grenade. Uh, you don't have a grenade. You have a flashbang. Okay. That could be ungood. If I go here, the gunner might do something nasty. I think I should probably... Is that the gunner? That's the engineer. The gunner is way back. 
He can hardly move. He's got 11 mobility. Uh, he should still probably be able to find a shot if I don't do something about him. Probably. Oh! We found the pixel. Okay. Flashbang gunner. Eyes. Fantastic. And I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight miles. It's going to be close. I don't want to leave this guy standing in the open to try and grenade. I really wish I could measure and see. I, I don't think he can get there. He'd have to move like here to reach. We could try and take shots at the officer. We've got two chances at like 30%. Hmm. I don't think I can reach with a flashbang unless I have someone stand in the open here. He does have eight health, including ablative, but still not great. What if I move this guy here? 36 on officer. I'm really not worried about the trooper. Swing and a miss. And we do have cover here. For our flashbanger. Alright, I'll almost definitely do that. But do we get a range penalty? We don't. So going closer isn't going to affect the shot. We shouldn't bunch up. Two actions. Reload. And 34% officer. Swing and a miss. Flashbang. Okay. Oh, and we have one more back here. Uh, I guess I could just flashbang the flashbanger. It's killing time. Take a good look. Overwatch with disorient. Probably not going to do anything. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. And I don't have any more ways to remove that Overwatch. I do have a shot from someone who is standing in the evac. So once again, 34% on officer reloading won't matter. Fantastic. Big deal. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm not terribly worried about the overwatch from the engineer, to be honest. Uh, but we'll run it with the tankier person regardless. Okay. Right, out. I hope they at least got some XP out of it. No need to ask twice. Hacking it in. It didn't really cost us anything to try this. And we didn't lose anything, luckily. Our enemies would have you forget the injustices of the old world. Forget the violence, the suffering, the needless death. But we of Advent... We did get a promotion. I would almost argue that's worth it. I mean, kind of is. 
Okay. Unless, of course, we get the worst possible class for someone with low health, terrible mobility, and amazing aim. Which would be... Which would be assault. I've got to hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. Yeah, uh, that's actually... That, that is literally the worst class I can think of for those stats. What could I do with it? We get Traverse Fire for only 20... For only 20 skill points, though? So it's kind of like... It's sort of like a Ranger. Sort of. Uh, I think we go for Stun... Maybe we even double down on run and gun, reduce the cooldown. Once per turn, gain an additional... Cannot trigger on the same turn as close encounters, but it does work with run and gun? Hit and run does? Cannot be used on the same turn as run and gun. No, it can't. Figures. Hmm... Hmm. Even more aim from Lone Wolf. So I think instead of a shotgun, we go assault rifle. Stun gun. Formidable because low health. Uh, rapid fire, we're not going to need, because we've got, well, no, that's not true. You can use one action to get two shots with rapid fire, whereas this is two actions. Take an additional non-movement action after a standard shot. Reposition, once per turn, gain an additional move action. After taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target, does that actually work with Traverse Fire? An additional non-movement action plus an additional move action. Pity he can't move very much. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think it would be a challenge to make this character work very well, regardless. That's a shame. That's actually worse than no reward at all, because we can't get a good sharpshooter out of him. Bug, come too long, war, sing, sing, poggers. Indeed, Kellogg's. Thank you very much for the reset. Much appreciated. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What missions do we have active? Zero missions. Could have figured that out. Lazik is still tired. 17 hours. Does that mean he gets all of his willpower back in 17 hours? I, I hope. Okay. Do we have two Haven Advisors? We do. Um, I think since we have no missions, we put everyone on Intel. They're actually already on Intel. And we scanny scan Intel. Supply run. Successful. And we got a promotion out of that. We should try something new. Jakubek uh, is taking covering fire. Already has 12 AP. 
We could give him Shadow Strike, Survival Instinct. That only kicks in while in while injured. 20 defense and 20 crit. Crit without aim is just like, oh good, I can miss harder. Really, I want to save up for Predator uh, with Jacobek. Even better shots in the open for reaction fire is insane. Uh, and that was the only promotion, wasn't it? What are all of these bonds? Rookie... Oh, those are both rookies. I'm not going to bond a rookie. Alright, we need a resistance op... Uh, a covert action. Ability points. Definitely more attractive than a single PCS or weapon upgrade. Also, we can't yet locate a faction. Let's go with... Jakubek's actually our first corporal. Okay. Oh, and we take three soldiers on this one. 17% chance of ambush. Uh, we want people who can go fast. Oh, does Sloder have... I think Sloder has Ever Vigilant, right? Yeah. Who is Sloder bonded with again? Uh, Yatuwatu. Okay. Let's send Yatuwatu and Sloder. And whoever else. Wait. I got Yatuwatu confused. Yatuwatu is the slow assault. Um, but Jakubek and Sloder might not be the worst idea. Do we have a technical other than Rorosaur yet? We do not. I could send a Shinobi. We've actually got three at this point. Probably send the Shinobi with the best aim as opposed to best mobility. Midden. And an assault. Would not be the worst idea. Except no, mobility like that we can't. If there's an ambush. Ramon Rodriguez has decent mobility. Let's do that. Although, 22% chance to fail. Maybe I need higher ranks here. That's 17%. Doesn't make a very big difference. Just yet. Let's send Ramon. I'm really hungry but can't make anything for another hour at least. Oh no. Making me hungry now. Okay, we don't have the supplies to make another room. Four days till we dig out another 47 supplies. We're going to be 10 short uh, to make the guerrilla tactics school. The training center can wait because it takes time to train uh, officers, but it's instant to do the skill stuff. Okay, let's see if we can't get another mission. Maybe I should head over to the black market to sell something for 10 before we finish clearing this alien debris. What do you got? PCS conditioning, one hit point? Would be enough? Or two stocks? We've got too many stocks, we're gonna get better ones anyway. It's only really the sharpshooters, and we've only got one. Let's sell the stocks. And surely there's nothing here to tempt me to buy something. Nope. 
Okay. We gained intel. Are these in-game in days or IRL days? In-game days. 40 hours until, never mind. One day, 10 hours, we can't do that. Uh, the fact that it only has one reward showing... Find enemy flight paths. Don't know what that is. Uh, but the fact that it has just one reward showing, I think that is actually another step on liberation. But unfortunately, we just didn't detect it soon enough. If there were IRL, I'd never buy it. It wouldn't be playable. All right, we have exactly what we need for Guerrilla Tactics School. Guerrilla Tactics School construction initiated. And I'm not... It, it, it does self-build. And it's not the kind of thing that gains us resources, really, if it gets done sooner. And we're literally out of supplies. So I think we'll keep our engineer digging out more debris, since we've only got one. We really need another engineer. Or seven. Three days, we can't really do that. Uh, I could pay intel to maybe make it work, but we don't have much intel and we're trying to save up another 21 to open up West Asia as well. Four days, 14 hours. We get a second technical. I'd have to pay intel to have a chance to make it work. We also get an intel package. It's four days and it's very light, as in maximum 12 enemies at first. I don't think we can do it. We're getting some bad luck with this at the moment. At least we've recruited someone else. Give us more intel, please. Eight days, ten hours, neutralize target, liberation, hinder advent operations. Uh, resistance contacts plus one, that is huge. That's only if we capture. And we get 33 intel. Uh, that is a thousand percent what we're going to do. The only question is, do I wait... It would be 20 hours for two of our best troops to come back. Three of them, actually. Although, it's not three of our best, it's... A slow shinobi... Uh, a gunner with bad aim. But our best ranger. Your old man would be proud Shut up, Central. To do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship. I just wish he had lived long enough Let's to see just like take that. our Haven advisors out for a moment so that we can have them as an option. Okay, Concealed Start City Center. Lots of enemies, but we've got lots of time to over infiltrate. We also get enough intel that it's still a profit on intel if we boost it and this is a very important mission so i think i think we go all out here shouldn't shinobi be fast uh yes they should like i am the sky here with uh 16 base mobility and a bit low on health, so I might give you the nanoscale vest. So you've got negative 50 to be... Sorry, negative 25 to be crit. 13 dodge, 6 health, 2 ablative armor. That's actually really good for this stage of the game. Aim is a little low, but that's probably, probably fine for the moment. 
Uh, we definitely want... Probably our technical, Rorosaur. And... Probably a sniper. We've only got one. Literally our best sniper. If you don't count the Reaper. Uh, so we got... Rorosaur's actually got great aim. And I don't think we're necessarily going to try flaming someone. Uh, Yatuwatu wouldn't be the worst idea. And... Sigma Bean. We're still extremely light if we boost. I'm so good that I miss all my shots, <laughs> indeed. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six people against nine if we boost it. Um, probably even if it gets reinforced while we're infiltrating. Is there a world where I go with one more? Oh, Lazik is ready to go now with his 17 will. Uh, that would be very light, even with a boost, though. We don't really have a normal shooter with this squad, though. Oh, we have the Reaper. I think it'll be fine. Hmm. I kind of want a Ranger. Or a gunner. Let's take Lazik and put Watu back in Haven Advisor. And I might just go back to SMG for Rorosaur. Can we make another... We have no supplies. Also... Oh. I was going to say we should make some armor-piercing bullets, but we have no supplies. John B, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning to you. Alright, I think this is our squad. Do we have any suppressors? I don't think so. Okay. Good luck. Hopefully you can hit your shots this time, yeah. It didn't help that you didn't get a good angle uh, before we lost concealment last time either. Uh, and I think we... Oh, there it is, Advent Strength 3. I don't know if it was already three when we queued that up. Um, but they're getting reinforced. Okay. Scanny scan. I can't wait to hear what excuse you come up with for having let Advent get the jump on them. You two honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living. I didn't think we'd be facing an ambush just yet. And we just put our best troops on that mission. This is immediate response, but... Uh... Oh, we do have another sharp... Oh yeah, the worst sharpshooter. 66 aim. I forgot you even exist. Uh, let's get... Let's get our Haven advisors back. Until we gear this up. Did you honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living? So usually what we want to do at least we've got Sloda. Uh I think I should take Shinobi, Sheep Say Meh. Is we pretty much 
generally want to turtle up at the evac. Oh, for some reason I thought Freeman was a gunner for a second there. Hmm, this is actually pretty bad. Uh, I guess we're taking a Grenadier. And... You know what? I should use that other assault, but with an assault rifle. 76 aim is actually very, very good right now. Auto loader, And a stock is not likely to be helpful uh, for these guys, but there's literally no penalty taking it right now. It's an instant mission. Uh, in fact, there's also a laser sight to be had. Let's give it to these guys. I could give Freeman a assault rifle as well. We're not going to be moving around, so only 10 mobility. That is horrific, though. But if there's ever a case where 10 mobility is okay, this is probably it. We do have three people escaping from the ambush, so it shouldn't be as dicey as it can be. The difficulty of these missions varies wildly, depending on starting position, terrain, and so on. Or in the wilderness, that could be very bad. You've got no time to waste. Break cover An officer and, and a gunner? That's not great. And we spotted the flanked enemy immediately. We spotted both of the flanked enemies immediately. Okay. Uh, so what do we have here? Oh, I see. They both... Wait, they came closer? Are you guys... Are you guys okay? It actually gives us less damage with the flesh, because running further makes it deal more damage for some reason. Um... Sorting either of these guys is not guaranteed to kill... But then we're going to have two actions to clean up afterwards. How much does this knife do? 2 to 4 plus 3. So any crit would kill this guy. Uh, I want to be extremely careful to move as little as possible here because on these missions in the wilderness... Uh, for some reason, we start two nanometers away from waking up the enemies. Especially up at the evac end. Very unfortunate that the shinobi just got instantly revealed. So I th think... We do have a tech... That's not a technical. That is... A Jakubek. I think we burn the both barrels on this guy, and then slicey dicey this guy. I'm going. Point blank, four to eight plus three. If it crits, he's dead. If I use both barrels, he's definitely dead. Uh, I think we should see if this one shots. It does. And then let's check your odds of Done. slicing this guy. Actually, 
Why don't we just slice him anyway? Holy... Insta-kill. Rodriguez, what a beast. I guess we're not using up a point blank. Okay, uh, so we have to assume here that if we take a single step, we're going to wake up some enemies here. Uh, we do have a shinobi, though. So let's uh, try and take a peek. Moving to designated coordinates. Yep, there they are on the right. It looks like... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the left. We should have seen it at some point running through here. So let's try getting eyes on that squad. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of Fen Men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. That's actually terrifying. Aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. First snake of the campaign and first two stun lances of the campaign all together. Um, I want nothing to do with this right now. I'd like to get... There's no way I can, like, ambush them. Unless I could somehow move up in such a way... About one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Uh, is that actually worth trying? Freeman's gonna be exposed. We got a shooty snake and two sword guys. Grenade's only going to do 6 damage maximum. I could move him up to this rock. Wait, no. I can't move... Well, I can without an overwatch shot. Move Freeman up to the rock. Uh, I can move Sloda up to the rock with an overwatch. And our assault. Same thing. Oh, I can move him here without being seen. That's actually very, very good. I hope it's worth it. We're definitely not going to get time to steady weapon. And Sloda up here with Overwatch. And I don't think they're going to get a free shot yeah, whatever. against three Overwatch shots. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Very fortunate positioning with those rocks. Uh oh. Double Overwatch? Good thing I have a grenade. I can't hit all of... I can hit both of the overwatches with a damaging grenade. I could flashbang all of them. Alternatively. Unfortunately, I don't have an officer in Sheep Same Bear able to use command to give the grenadier another action. But I think what we're going to do is grenade these two, hopefully kill the snake outright. Minimum damage for this is supposed to be three, but we got one damage when it said two against an unarmored target once. Uh, I'm going to be a little greedy and try and kill the snake at this Here, range. To to think about. I think it might have been because it was like through cover. Fantastic. Okay. Sloda 
if you would do the honors. I'm tired of waiting around. Are both a barrels? Nice suit. And you know what? If we can kill the last one without Oh we can. Yeah, we'll just use a uh, run and gun. If we can kill the last one without losing stealth on the shinobi, all the better. Beautiful. Very happy now. Uh now I'm just a little bit concerned over this end. Since we have no stealth, there's probably enemies here and enemies here, is how this mission generally goes. Uh, I think I'll have someone else pick up the loot over there, and we'll try to find nothing. Hmm... Hmm, that movement on Rodriguez is not great. If I could move up here and overwatch before moving someone else, I might do that. I'd like to go straight for the evac, but I'm sure we're going to get spotted from one side or the other. Let's head over this way, where everyone else is a bit closer. Hello? You see nothing. In that case... Beat, beat. Just stay close together. Minimize the chance of seeing anything else this turn. And we find three enemies on the other side of the map. Double Sentry Engineer. This is actually probably really good news. Uh, we might even not find anything over this way. Um, I'm going to try sprinting our Ranger over here. If we spot something, at least he gets Overwatch. Jacobek, what do you see? We see nothing. Midden, I want to keep able to slice something, if possible. Gonna have to really sprint with Rodriguez. This is what I want to do, but it's a little sketchy. Everything's a little sketchy, though. He's pretty tanky, he should be okay. And midden. Uh, let's not be too greedy. Okay. Could I sprint our grenadier over here? And potentially, well, potentially one-shot this entire squad, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna stroll in there like I own the damn place. If we're very lucky, they can't come upstairs just yet, so this should be fine. Eyes on the prize. And then, Is it clear? grab this stuff and hide. Slow to... how about you just reload Overwatch? This is actually looking really good. Doctor, please greet our friends cordially. Follow the happy ball! What can it be? Let's go take a look! Almost one shot them. What the fuck just happened there? And they don't even know where we are. 
I could slice the dice with uh, sheep's hay mare. Because it's very unlikely there's anything else out here. I could actually single move down here to find out. But I really want to pick up that double loot. Worst case, we get the loot, get seen, and run back upstairs. On the move. Auto loader and an elite laser sight. Nice. It's actually a chance to miss with the sword, but not the SMG. It's a little sketchy standing in the open, but it's probably going to be fine. Probably. Affirmative. And do we sprint? Dashing. On the move. And that's basically it, it looks like. I hope. Steady weapon. Scanning. On the off chance something pops package. up here. Oh, that's good actually. I mean, good timing. Running. We've got a steady weapon before an Overwatch shot. Come get some. On Overwatch. Make sure you're able to dash Where am I going? to the evac next turn. You've actually got Ever Vigilant, so you can go over here. Shinobi number two, up this way. And I'm not going to bother with an Overwatch shot for our gunner. Okay, 99% finishing this without any wounds. They didn't even land upstairs. These voice lines are cracking me up. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we even see them, so let's just get out of here. Location confirmed. Rolling out. Let's move already. I can handle that. Uh here we go. On the move. Dashing. And uh, this one? This right here is why you should eat Wheaties in the morning. I guess any breakfast is better for you than the two shots of vodka I had. Okay. Flawless victory. That really did go better than expected. Auto loader, elite laser sight, and the laser sight. Not bad. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. And we have 19 ability points. Once we finally get the uh, training center up, which is going to be a minute yet. Okay, sheep say meh. From moat. Uh, 61 aim isn't great. But I think... Do, I, do you have any other way to gain aim? It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. Red hair and female if possible. Okie dokie. Uh, Shmua. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was the aim? It was like... It was only like 85% with the sword, right? I think sheep should probably just be a spy. It makes me a little sad because all the other stats are great for a sword shinobi. I'm not seeing anything particularly exciting in 
the XCOM skills though, the bonus skills. So I think we're going to go Ghostwalker, Shadow Step, Covert, either Low Profile or Shadow Strike. Um, hit and Run, I guess. Evasive, maybe. Tradecraft and Conceal. Sick at home, but able to watch because of that, so cancels out, indeed. Okay, Fernando Flores, the world's best worst assault. Uh, I really do like the security of uh, the arc thrower disorients if it misses. So that it always does something. It's very important to minimize the number of times we have to rely on RNG. Alright, let me just double check the Q. Conbi and Shmua. Okay, Conbi doesn't have anything specific. So I guess Fernando Flores can be Conbi. And Shmoa. Uh, we can always change the appearance. Well, we're going to have to, actually. We're actually getting pretty full on the roster with the names. Uh, Khadija Ma Mazibuko, the Gren Grenadier. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, five A's. It actually does fit. Uh, let's see. Head, hair, red hair. I think that's as red as it gets. Anything else, or is this good? Okay. Uh, we need to do another... Another op. That works out perfectly. Nice. wonder if you can change their flag or just name an appearance you can definitely change their flag uh for example character info nationality doesn't apply to reapers i think that's the flag thing Yeah, 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 there's the flag right there. Okay. Sign a new action. Uh, we don't actually have very exciting options right now. Probably... Well, the failure rate on manu manufacture upgrade is lower regardless. We could go gain intel. That is what we are trying to get right now. A superior upgrade could be amazing, or it could just be, oh, one of those. Like, a superior scope, or a hair trigger, for example, would be brilliant. Especially a scope. But I think we're going to go for the intel. Wait. No, all three of them only require two soldiers. Ambush was 1% higher on the intel, but it's probably fine. Let's take... Cheap Say Meh again. 
and someone fast. Sloder. Wait, Sloder was on the rescue team, wasn't it? Uh, Rodriguez we used last time as well. Yeah, Sloder was on the rescue team. It was uh, Jack Beck. Uh, maybe Yatuwatu would be a good idea. It's not that slow. I mean, he kind of is, but he's got running gun, so it should be okay. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. All right, and we put people back in as Haven advisors. Whoops. We get combat armor in ten hours. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. Fantastic. Alright, scanny scan. When inspired, combat armor complete. Commander, with the advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Yeah, don't say. We can't do laser weapons because we don't have Illyrium crystals. Ouch. We're, we're one short, actually. I've never actually gone out of my way to buy these things, but maybe. I can get eight Illyrium crystals if I spend two days breaking down an Illyrium core. I think we've only got like two cores, though. I don't think we desperately need the laser... Well, we have no supplies uh, to build the laser weapons, so we're going to get, like, one laser rifle if we do that. So I think we'll just continue with Knowing the that my research. Past surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated... The common Advent Trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Indeed. You're still talking? Hey, we got zero wounded. Nice. Okay. Can we perhaps find an engineer? That would be nice. Uh, sabotage transmitter, find a lead, 26 intel. Light, uh, very light, rather. I think we have to gear this up. I'm not overly excited about it, but it's a mission. And it's going to be a B-team mission. Well, not that there's much rank disparity right now. In fact, there's practically zero rank disparity in this lot. Okay, Midden with the good sword aim. Uh, how many can we fit? Probably not six. We've only got the world's worst sharpshooter available. I forgot to get the Haven Advisors back. Let's put the sharpshooter that can't sharpshoot in as a haven advisor. And probably Rodriguez. That should be fine. Okay, we need a shinobi. We need... We don't strictly need a sharpshooter, which is good because we don't have one. Uh, I think this is going to be the type where we have to shoot the transmitter. So we need a bunch of damage. A couple of ranges. Uh, 
grenadier. Assault. Still extremely light, that's good. I'll probably go with this or something very similar. It'd be good if we could level up our specialist. I think we'll go with this, actually. So, double ranger, grenadier, specialist. Oh, uh, probably not the assault rifle and the grenadier this time. Which we never ended up using, now that I think of it. This should be enough deeps. How many accessories do we have? Elite laser sight, laser sight, double auto loader. Okay. Elite laser sight, auto loader. Advanced uh, Have an auto loader instead of the. Oh, actually, no. Have the advanced expanded mag. Auto loader is better on a gunner. I think that's going to do it. I forgot to give uh, one person the one armor that we have. Sky Ranger deployed. But none of them are exceptionally low on hit points, so it's probably fine. Alright, we scanny scan. We find mission. Two days, we can't do that. We find mission, eight days, three hours. We get a technical and a lance corporal at that. Uh, definitely, a thousand percent we need to do this. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Oh, and I've got enough intel to open up the next region, but I might want to hold on. Okay. 30 hours until all these other people are infiltrated. Do I boost? Uh, we're gonna boost this one anyway, so yes. Can I interest you in some hunger-inducing chats? Uh-oh. I don't suppose this is gonna get it too extremely light straight away. Light moderate, not even close. Uh, do I consider, we're going to get intel back for this, I could boost it, run this mission, and probably still have seven or eight days to run this one, I think that's probably the way to go. It still says light, so we still have to wait a bit. Six hours until 100%, that's going to be very light, I think, was the baseline. We've got five people. I don't particularly want to send them against 12 enemies. Uh, especially in a mission that I think is going to be pretty time sensitive. Objective time is seven turns. Yeah, we're going to wait a bit. Hopefully we can do this one up in like a day without sending rookies at it. Rescue VIP, free and important prisoner scientist. Uh, can't really right now, we don't have that much time and it's not that high a priority at this moment. So yeah, that is very light. As in maximum 12 enemies, we're only outnumbered two and a bit to one. I really do want a technical though. We're still going to have lots of time if I wait a little bit longer. Let's get this to... This research, can only this research done? Advances, Despite a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what 
if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes. I need your opinion on something? Is it something delicious? All right, let's get the, the advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power the and officer agility. out of the way. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Fascinating. Okay. Who's this bond? It's a rookie. So We're not doing that yet. Now I need to keep checking on this to wait to start the mission, the nanosecond. Oh, advent strength four. That's so bad. Okay. It looks like these two missions we might have to run. This one's four as well. We might have to run against more enemies than we would like. Uh, this one, I'm going to over-infiltrate as much as possible. It's not like it's going to go from 4 to 5. I'll take this one to 125%, and if it's still very light, we might have to run it. I should probably be switching to supply at this point. Resistance contest. Uh, we got one, two, it looks like three. It's only three resistance personnel and no soldiers. Six days, 19 hours, very light. It really can't compete with this one, where we get a technical. Still very light. One twenty-six percent, very light. I don't think it's going to change. Unless we take it all the way to 150. In which case, we lose the ability to do this one relatively easily. Uh, I think we have to go. Jakubek, Sloder, Midden, Demon, and Dope Dog against up to 12 enemies. We'd have to wait up to another 25% longer for it to to go to extremely light. In which case this one wouldn't be doable, probably. Alright, this is gonna be dicey. Well, it could be very dicey. When I started streaming, I started on my personal Terraria world. Should I start a new adventure? Uh, it depends. Usually a gimmick is helpful, I think. Like, I don't build boss fight arenas, for example. Okay. That is a weird place to start, and actually very helpful, probably. Severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. All right. Don't get any cover over here. Network separation four turns. What? Oh, is this the type where we have to shoot the things on the way as well? In which case, I probably have to come up here to spot a few of them. Uh, they couldn't be a drone this close, right? I was thinking of doing the remix seed. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Um, I'm gonna risk getting spotted with Slodo rather than our Shinobi. Alright, so we do indeed have to shoot these things as we go. I kind of want to rush down the left side and probably not run into any enemies for a couple of turns. Oh, okay. That's good, actually. The, the hit point bar had me terrified for a split second. <laughs> Uh, because we have to go fast, I'm going to be a bit greedy with Midden. No need to ask twice. Dash all the way up here. And we see... Got some hostiles grouped over here. Snake and Double Trooper, I think it was. Or maybe one of these is a sentry. Okay. Oak Dog. Get up near the ladder, please. Good to go. Why is it pausing like that? Jakubek. Uh, up behind the cover, please. And Sloda. Can't quite get behind this cover. I don't like it. If I go over here, I'm scared of a drone. If I don't, I'm out in the open. We could just go down here, I guess. That's affirmative. Roger, got it got my eyes on. The jolts when the computer thinks about the aliens' turns and stuff is really big right now for some reason. And speaking of drones, that's going to be very close. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Oof. Three tiles off. Can we hack it? 86% shutdown. We... What? Uh, I think the game just misinterpreted my left click somehow. Not sure what was up with that. I, I didn't even, like, right-click to move somewhere. Okay. It was like a left-click up here somewhere. We're visible here. How did that... What did the game even think I was trying to do? That is very strange. And this is why you don't play Iron Man. Okay. Uh, as to what we actually do here... Oh, it's actually just Double Trooper. Good luck with the campaign. Gonna make food now. Take care, uh, Stardust. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you for your wonderful sniping. Hmm. We do have Freeman with the grenades. I think I want to put him behind this tree. And hopefully get like a good grenade on that squad next turn. Midden, I want to keep you hidden. Headed out. On Overwatch. Jakubek, I would put you here if it didn't get you revealed. Uh, let's bring Sloder up first, because Sloder was a bit behind. Doesn't actually... Oh, does actually have angle through there. Who's tankier? It's got to be Sloder. Ten four. 
and then up to this tree. And dope, we're gonna put over here, I think. And Snick goes downstairs. Right out of our way if we wanted to slip by. What about the drone? Oh, speaking of drones. Hostile targets in sight. We can't wait much longer. Um, if at all pot oh okay. <laughs> that was close. The drone is right here. And can't quite see up here to flank Jacobek. We could open with an 85% on Snick. Um But I think a grenade on Snick would be a lot more spicy. Can uh, the broken line of sight preview isn't helping us get an idea of whether the drone would see us. If I put Freeman here, something could come up this way. It's a little spooky. But I think that's the risk we have to take. Also, we need to get away from this drone in order to not deal with it this turn. I could just combat protocol it, though. That's a pretty efficient use of uh, our specialist's actions. But... I think what I want is... This is a bit sketchy. Double reaction fire On from our rangers. And then we can't see drone here for now. Okay, grenade. Minimum damage is three. Probably it should kill both of the troopers. Okay, time for juggling lessons. First lesson is to just grab the ball. Yes. Killed one trooper, the other's on one health, and the snake is on two. Snake is dead, that's the main thing. And Sloda earns a promotion. Okay. We could get a flank on the trooper with our specialist, but it would be a very sketchy flank with an SMG at like 12 tiles away with 63 aim. I could combat protocol him to guarantee killed him, uh, but then we wouldn't have one for each of the drones. But we don't have any more actions to kill this guy this turn if we want to keep some stealth. Will do. That's actually really good scouting right there. Finding nothing up this way. I think I will pop one of the combat protocols. Where was the drone? It was like here, right? I don't think it's going to see us if we do this. I can handle that. Yeah, we're good. Uh, it does count as high cover at this angle, weirdly enough, but we don't care about cover when we've got combat protocol. Mount up in here. Fantastic. Oh, and I should have chucked uh, evac. Menace one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. Shut up, Central. Well done. As we 
had hoped the network separation has been temporarily Let's delayed. get ourselves an evac right about here. Four turns. Uh, let's scouty scout over this way. Holy crap. Um, yeah, it's a confirmed visual on a carbon copy of the last squad we just killed. Very kind of snake to go that way. We will delete it with the flesh. Unless it minerals. Or grazes. It mineraled. Snake is almost definitely going to curl up and cuddle with uh, Midden next turn. We should be able to rescue quite easily. And... Well, now I want to move my... my Ranger up. But I cannot... I don't have line of sight on Snake from here. I do from here, though. It's a long shot for a flank, but I think it's worth... We're not going to do a whole lot with a grenade this turn. I'm not going to waste a whole grenade just to finish off the Snake, I don't think. With two drones running around, I definitely want to hold on to one of the combat protocols. And... I'd like to get a reaction shot from about here. If I... Hmm. If I leave him flanked like that, I really should guarantee the kill on the snake. With a grenade or a combat protocol. I also would love to pick this up, but that's a bit much, perhaps. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the snake is going to cuddle up if he's alive. And he's not alive. Fantastic. Okay. Ranger, get up. How easily could those boxes break? Probably way too easily. But you're not going to have angle otherwise. Oh! Okay. 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 That happens occasionally. Hopefully it doesn't put uh, the models for the enemy soldiers in places where they're not actually standing. That does happen sometimes. If I wake up the drone this way, we can just pop it this turn. We do not wake up the drone this way. I think I'll use this to buy some more time. Fantastic. And I was trying to see if this guy would be able to flank, and it looks like he could not. No, he can't flank if I bring Jacka back up here. Okay, Sloda. You're not going to get a reaction shot from here unless it's on a drone, which is probably just going to scratch it. So, get yourself up here. Are they running? They are not running. I wouldn't expect them to run with only one member of the squad dead. Nice hit.
The reaction shots from the rangers also give an aim penalty. So, not surprised that didn't hit. Uh, Midden could sword this guy and complete the objective on the same turn, but be left exposed. We do have probably a couple of flank shots on this guy. Yeah, we do. Let's try and minimize the chance of waking up anything else. 73. Oh, nice. Okay, this is still a bit risky, but... Oh, why don't we get a reaction shot up before we go? Midden, if you please. I'm not surprised. Uh, I kind of expected something to be, like, here. I, I, for a moment, I thought we actually didn't find anything, but it was not to be. A couple of troopers and a priest, that's not too scary. So let's uh, plant the X4. Complete submission. The X4 charges are active, but the alien and... is still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. We're going to get flanked if we stay here. I could actually slicey dice the priest for a lot of damage because it's a long movement. It, it starts the flesh from where you started at the beginning of the turn. More damage the further you go, so this is actually fairly likely to kill him. I think he gets the don't die ability though. Sustain. Yeah, there it is. He's going to wake up next turn. Um, I could delete drone. I probably will, to be honest. It, well, no, I could kill the trooper. Instead of the drone. The drone is probably going to... It's going to move up here and then... Try to disorient um, Sloder. And there's a good chance it'll miss. Meanwhile, I can execute that trooper with the second combat protocol. I think that's the way to go. It's more dangerous. Fantastic. Uh, we've probably seen every enemy on the map, by the way. I, can't shake the feeling I want to try and get a grenade on those two if possible. Stasis ended. Run away, stasis. the Grenadier. That's not so bad. Shooty shoot through the giant thick metal. Not quite. Overwatch. Drone gets tapped with a Overwatch shot. And takes a very poorly aimed shot. Not at the person that I was expecting. We could hacky hack the drone. Uh, it's not even very good odds though. We could probably get a flank shot on the overwatched guy. Back in. Except I'd have to run the overwatch to do it. So what's the point? Well, the point is it would be max range. We've got three people to kill over here. 
I think this wouldn't actually trigger Overwatch, and we could kill the priest. I don't think the sustain is ended, though. The, uh, the bubble. I don't think we get to use this, uh, our grenadier this turn, no matter what. Oh, wait. Wasn't this the mission where we might face up to 12 enemies? So we haven't seen everything. We need to be a bit more careful. Hmm. No one else is in a good position to execute the priest. Uh, why don't we take our tankiest ranger and try and move up for the flank shot? Finally. Oof. Poor damage, unfortunate. And we do not quite kill the trooper, but it's got a lot of red fog now. If I'm not careful moving up here, we could activate even more stuff. No problem, boss. Got another 75 to finish it off. That would have killed it in one. But what are you going to do? 100% uh, it looks like Graze is a little lower with the SMG, so let's do that. Oh wait, it was one damage, so it didn't matter. Okay. Uh, let me just aid protocol, increase the defense for Midden, because that trooper probably wants to flank. And I could try shooting the drone, but it's going to do almost nothing at best. Let's try hacky hack. Ninety two percent shut it down. Fantastic. Just get it out of here for one turn. We get our grenadier back. And he does indeed go for the flank. And miss. Fantastic. I can't move. Yes, you can. Uh, obviously it's a bit risky to sword him, but it's not like I can get anyone else up there to flank him either. And even the grenadier probably just can't breach. So we're going to hope and pray that... Nobody says hello right now. Fantastic. 4 to 6 guaranteed. Be gone. Data pad picked up. Nice. Uh, our evac is coming in in one turn. just have to try not to wake up too many more enemies. And preferably kill that drone without wasting our grenade. Why don't we just go down next to it? Right next to the ladder near the evac, which we can't see at the moment. Two to four. Not going to kill it. Only one damage. Okay. Next. 85%. Fantastic. And back toward the evac with all of you. Uh, we're not going to be able to get our shinobi out in one turn, though. Yeah, keep on I'm going. Watching. I'm reloading. I'm always watching. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. All right, shinobi. 
Get your butt back here. Copy that. Everyone else should be able to get out in one turn. So let's just reload Overwatch. Reloading Overwatch. I'm ready. I'm ready. Back on. Looks like they called it back up. And we're out. Uh, the Shinobi actually can't get to the evac this turn, but as long as we don't see anything, it should be fine, because you can't trigger Overwatch with a single step. Oh, we can actually get out. It was just blocked by a teammate. Fantastic. Let's go. And away we go. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. That transmitter is history. All things Don't considered, that was pretty good with just one wound. We did kill ten enemies. Or did it count the little thingies that we shot? I remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, yeah, no, I do. It was double double trooper snake twice, and then double trooper priest, and one drone. The victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump. I really need to keep count of these things. Okay, we get a promotion for a grenadier, plus one grenade, fantastic. Uh, Sloda is out of it for 14 days, ouchie. Uh, and I think this is actually our first cover fire, so I was wrong about that earlier. Uh, we get Midden with... Combatives, plus 10 dodge, counter-attack melee. Dope dog with the interference. Uh, three times we get a free action. You can do it all at once. Uh, three charges, free action to just remove an overwatch. No questions asked. Very, very handy. Intel collection, uh, the resistance ring thing is done in six hours. But I don't think... Ooh, an engineer. Nice. Uh, I don't think we can wait much longer on this mission where we get a technical. Six days, 12 hours if we wait. Let's see what gearing this up looks like. Uh, they're not tired, are they? Midden. 37 out of 39, 40 out of 42. I think we're fine. Uh, we could take pretty much the same squad. For the most part. Extremely light. Uh, that's with four people. And I'd have to take Conby. If we wait for the covert action, we get back a spy and a, a slow assault. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Let's take Conby and see what this looks like. Very light. Hmm. On the other hand, I could boost it. Because I really don't want to risk not getting the technical. Yeah, I think we'll boost this one. So 
so one less ranger this time, but we have an assault with an assault rifle and very good aim and bad mobility. And a good stun gun. Let's -a go. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. And now we can finally pick up an Avenger engineer. Plotting new course. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. And there's our intel. Okay. We've only got, like, two missions left here. It's going to reset with new stuff at the end of the month, but still. Superior PCS or superior weapon upgrade? Uh, either one of these could either be amazing or very disappointing. Uh, so I think we just go with the one that has a lower percent chance of failure ambush and takes one less day. Sheep say meh and Yatubatu once again. Failure six percent, ambush sixteen. Covert is our Good special. luck. Let's just hope your people can keep up. And we check this mission. It's still light. We already boosted it, right? Yeah, I'm getting a little scared. That it's going to be, like, very light at best. It is very light at best. Okay. We have six people, though. Uh, and it's very much our A-team. Against up to 12 enemies. Um, except for our squaddy shinobi, but that's fine. So that's going to be it. Uh, and that's actually a really good point to end the stream for today, I think. Next week we'll be continuing right where we left off. With our very important and slightly scary mission with our A-team. We just got word from the spokesman. There's a VIP of some importance to the aliens moving through this area that the resistance would like us to deal with. Really good reward if we capture as well. Take out any hostile resistance and capture the target if possible. I don't remember what the reward was, but it was very spicy. Oh yeah, it was plus one contact. As in the maximum number of different regions we can have contacted until we upgrade something. So, that's going to be it for this week. Let's find someone to raid. If anyone is streaming XCOM 2, I'll have a look at that. Otherwise, we'll just drop in on someone familiar. Already running away, thanks for playing. Until next time, take care, Dilka. Thanks for hanging out. Take care, Sheep Seymour. I don't suppose anyone's doing Long War. Uh, doesn't look like it. Should we look for Long War in the other XCOM games, or just drop in on someone else? Let's say hello to Immo, why not? Great, tra uh, great stream, thanks, thank you. Brognosis, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, I will actually make one quick attempt to find someone else playing Long War, although I'm not familiar with the other XCOM games. Is it... XCOM Enemy Unknown? 
there's two people watching. Probably not. Oh, there's literally nothing. Never mind. Yeah, I don't see any one more. Let's drop in on Imo today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included, then back to uh, Space Exploration and K2 for a few days. And we'll continue this next week. Have you got a pack or whatever there is of all the mods you're using? Uh, not just yet, but I can definitely add that. Uh, it'll be below the, uh, below the stream. Um, or if you jump on the Discord and, uh, ask me about that, you can get it there. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a long one. But it's basically just, like, long war and some quality of life stuff for the most part. Okay. Uh, take care, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.